All right, and we are live. Hello, everybody. It's Royal Fatness here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Great to have everyone here as always. I know Monday streams are a bit abnormal. I was quite busy this weekend, so I apologize. I didn't get around to streaming this weekend, so here's a stream on Monday instead. I have time today. Let's do it. And today, we're going to be talking about the VZ-55. In my opinion, a very underrated tier 10 heavy tank. And I'm not just making stuff up. It is, in fact, the third least played tier 10 tank currently in the game. But that's crazy. Third lowest. Only the CS-63, which everyone admits is pretty dog water, and the WZ Lite, which is extremely hard to play, are like the only tech tree tanks that are played less than the VZ. And I asked myself, why is that? Because... My opinion, on paper at least, this tank is fantastic. And so the purpose of today's stream will be to figure out how a tank plays, maybe show you some ideas of its play style in case some of y'all are playing it wrong, uh, and try and dive into why this tank is kind of underrated, in my opinion. And uh, by the way, hello to everybody in chat. It's great to see you. We have Thomas, Lewis, Abdallah, Rattle, uh, Haxi, Mono, um, Broma, Broma, <laughs> Broma, I'm just going to call Broma, Junthal, uh, Tress, Ominous, Envy, Ecto Gaming, and Man, uh, da, 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 Kung Furry. Good to see everyone here. Fury, uh, hope everyone's doing well. Having a great start to your week. I know many of y'all who are college students are probably starting up your semesters this week or next. So good luck with that. And to all your hardworking people out there, hopefully you're having a good time. Uh, you fantasy is live cringe. I know, dog. Unbelievable. I can't believe this. Um, I do apologize if the lighting is a bit bad right now. For some reason, my key light decided it did not want to behave itself, which is not cool. Uh, so I'm trying to use as much natural lighting as possible, but it looks bad. Also, uh, courtesy Bobby check. Can't really see her. That, that's her head right there. Yeah, she's sleeping on my lap right now. Just know that Bobby is here with us right now. It's spirit, uh, if, even if you can't see her. Hey, Jay, hey, bro. I sing a little. Hello, hello. All right. Um, you pronounced my nickname correctly. Okay, good. Oh, no. Whew. I usually mispronounce them. School canceled tomorrow. Oh, well, I guess good. Good for you. Good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, Pete. How's it going? All right. So I played like five games in the VZ earlier. Sweaty battles off stream. Me playing better. Uh, and this was my experience. Right, I was 5,200 damage W, 4,000 damage loss, 5,600 damage W, 5,200 ish damage W. Like I was just having a very solid time in the tank. It has a very good gun. So let's dive into it because from my experience in it, like today, sweating a little bit, it was a pretty solid tank. I just don't understand why it's so unpopular. Um, 2,500 hit points is about average. It has solid frontal armor on the hull and the turret, but I'll dive into that in a moment. Something big about this tank is the combat stabilization. So that means as long as you do not exceed 15 kilometers an hour in movement, your dispersion is much lower. And my, is that amazing to have on a tank with 470 alpha on the AP shells, 400 on the armor piercing composite rigid, sure, premium rounds and 610 HE. Very, very punchy gun with a Pretty decent gun statistics, right? 3.68 times 0.34 dispersion. And let's just remember, combat stabilization is also going to be increasing that gun handling when you are not moving so much. It's huge. It makes it very snappy. 7 degrees of gun depression. Very usable. Top speed is 38. That's actually pretty decent, you know, for a heavy tank. It's not on the slower side. It's on the medium, kind of medium to faster range for heavy tanks. Uh, and it has pretty good power to weight and grant terrain resistance, I believe, because the tank actually feels quite fast, even with only a 38 top speed. Uh, good good all, around, all around traverse. As far as armor goes, your lower plate is absolutely terrible and huge. And so unsurprisingly, that is the main target when you're caught out. The upper plate, though, is like unbendable. Like you really never have to worry about anyone going through the upper plate of this tank, even with premium rounds. Maybe a Ho Ree's premium AP from like point blank looking down will probably be able to pen it. But in most scenarios, especially if you're using five, you know, five, six, seven degrees of gun depression, uh, that upper plate is not a problem. The turret, for the most part, is good. You have these spaced armor panels across the front, which really increases the thickness of the turret along the front. You don't have to really be 
worry so much about getting penned through the corners so much. There are two significant weak spots that you should know if you're playing this tank. That is the rather gigantic side positioned hatch. That will be a very big nuisance if you're haul down. So you're trying to face something like a Chief to Mark 6 or T125. You're probably not going to do well in that engagement because you have this big old hatch and those tanks have much smaller hatches plus very snappy high GPM guns. So something to consider. Also, there are gaps in the spaced armor, which certain ammunition types and premium rounds especially can go through. So the gaps between between the mantlet and the spaced armor, right? And so the turret definitely has some weaknesses. And you think definitely that can make it a little bit more difficult to play. But when it comes to every tanks, it really falls into the realm, in my opinion, of like your two, T125, your 5A, um, even to some extent your Chieftain Mark VI. This isn't like a super aggressive frontline IS-7, VK-72, E-100. It's not one of those type of heavy tanks. It's a bit more calculated in its gameplay where you really want to utilize this tank's incredible gun and put it into a position where you can make do with the armor you have, but don't rely super, super heavily on it. Uh, maybe that's a play style not for everyone that they're looking for a heavy tank. I don't know. It's I guess that's the reason it's not very popular. I'm trying to figure out why it's not very popular. Although looking at the poll that I've posted in chat, about 32% of people who have voted out of the 130 votes we have collected so far do not even own the tank. 35% saying it's about average and about almost 30% saying the tank is great. So... Only 5% of people seem to think the tank's bad, and yet no one plays this vehicle. I don't understand. <laughs> like, how is a 5A, like, way more popular than this tank when this is a free-to-play tech tree vehicle that anyone playing this game can get without spending a penny? Um, and admittedly, after the 5A got rebalanced, I would say that the VZ is better. It has a much better gun, in my opinion has 340 something premium APCR pen, which is really, really good. Most APCR pen guns are not all that great. And um, well, we'll just jump into it. Let's jump into some gameplay. You can see we are easily kind of cruising through here. We're gonna try and cross pretty early. Looks like the enemy team do have a bit of a crossfire going through here. And while well, that shot got dunked, the reason I kind of repositioned myself in towards the mid here was because unfortunately my allies decided they didn't want to support me on C. And there really was no reason for me to wander into C all by myself. That probably would not have ended well for me. What I am gonna do is start hardcore pressuring this M60. He may have a T124 or a proc for support. Let's track the Progetto and pull back a little bit. I do have more support here. If the Prague gets a little aggressive and you can see the Progetto is now getting YOLO'd which pick up a kill onto him very nice easily able to get some rounds in there this M60 will now become our next victim here assuming my allies don't block me please don't block me guys okay oh I am getting stuck on a bridge ain't that incredible all right come on come on just pick up a kill on this dude there we go two quick kills there definitely made the right rotation in this scenario not getting myself stuck in front of all these tanks here. I wonder if I can HE the Yost side. I can't quite HE it, but let's put an AP shell into him. 506 alpha. You may think that 10 alpha damage won't make a huge difference on a vehicle, but it really does. That's one thing that always kind of surprised me whenever I'm playing a tank like the VZs, how much more frequently the tank will roll 500 plus because that 10 alpha actually does really quite matter. And it's one of the reasons why some tanks, um, like the M48 Pounder E50M going down to 340 alpha instead of 350 just feel a little bit worse. 533 damage into the VK72 there. And this so far hasn't been like all that crazy of a battle. I've kind of just pushed through with my meds. And we have already with, with relative ease farmed up. Okay, just about 2900 damage now, right? 2900 damage so far. We are losing currently, but we have cap advantage. Um... I'm a little concerned about this D124 here. There we go. Force poking. Let's put 495 damage to him. You can see the mechanic coming in handy there. Even though I was pulling back and forth on this ridge line, the e my my reticle was basically fully aimed in the whole time. And so that was a, a nice little exchange of pace there. Okay, E-Force poking again. 473 damage to him. We managed to ricochet a shell from him as well. Let's pop the adrenaline in the hopes that we can get a shell into this VK-72. 57 getting taken out there. That's huge. 520 damage here, right? What I was saying from the beginning, guys, passive farm is what this tank's going to do best at. Put yourself in a position where you're going to be a real nuisance for the enemy team and have fun at it. 388 damage to this dude. We're going to try and just kind of move our turret around here to make it harder from the sniper hatch and pull back. We are still doing pretty well here. It's a Type 71 in our spawn that's going to crossfire out this VK here. VK is trying to side scrape. I'm going to say it again. Never try side scraping in your VK 72. That is not what the tank is built for it will absolutely get annihilated if it attempts to side scrape. All right, let's think what we're gonna do here. 
Okay, there's the E4 pulling up pretty aggressively through the top here. Maybe onto our type here. I'm going to keep an eye out for... I think the type's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to put myself in a position where I can kind of crossfire this E4 if he pushes up on our type here. And also kind of just control B. We have supremacy cap points right now. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. We do at least have supremacy cap points at the moment. And we can maybe make the Sheridan a one-shot. 530 damage to him. That's huge for me. And now we can pull back down and safe into this hold down position. We should be good to win this battle, I think. And let's see if we can maybe hit an APCR shell onto this T124 here. Sadly, that one goes a little bit onto the low side. I'm going to pull back and hold for now. Now, what I think the Sheridan's trying to do is flank around me. So I'm going to wait till I'm unspotted. And then we're just going to kind of pre-aim over here. Maybe just pre-aim here for a little bit. See what happens. I have cap points. I don't have to move. I can stay here and be chilling. So let's wait for the Sheridan. And since we are like 300 cap points up almost, we'll just be patient. We'll wait for them to push in on me. If I can kill the Sheridan, I can win this game very easily. The Sheridan is going to be my primary objective at the moment. So I'm just going to wait it out and see what happens. Because right now I don't have any huge incentive to move. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So the Sheridan's moved back over here. And the T124 has moved back into the Narniaverse. Good to know. Sheridan pulling on down here. We need to keep an eye out for the T124's crossfires in the mid. There we go. Managing to bait a heat shell out of him there. And now I think we should be all set to kind of push down here. Maybe pick up a, sh a kill onto Mr. Sheridan here. Because why not? He's the only one that's holding me back. And okay. Wow. I get hardcore trolled against the Sheridan here. That is not good. I give up the high ground and now I'm in a bad position. Um, did not think that my APCR was going to ricochet on this man. And so now the Sheridan's going to go for the cap. So let's reconsider. We may have thrown that game just now. May have very easily have thrown this game. Because now I'm a two shot for the E4. And that Sheridan's going to have to cap. I'm going to have to recap B as well. Let's see what we can do right now. And oh dear, that's not good for me. Okay, well boys, I think we threw this one. That's unfortunate. I should have just stayed back and defended B. That would have been the smart thing to do there. Um, yeah, we are definitely we are definitely losing this one, boys. No! What is that? What is that RNG, man? That is that is complete trash. No. I was like, we could just pick up a kill with the shirt. It ain't no way, man. Not the VZ's fault. We did fine there. Uh, not sure how our type 71 got himself killed. But like, come on, man. Really? Let's see. <laughs> It must have hit the outside of his spaced armor there. All right, let's see. So here's my reticle. Look at this. Ah, let's, yeah, that's, that's convenient. Let's just have the shot go all the way outside of where the reticle is pointed on the very center of his vehicle, hit the outside of its hull right on that corner there. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense, Wargaming. What is that? Fix your game. Fix your game, Wargaming. Ay, ay, ay. That could have been an easy, like, 7,000 damage W there. I am molded. <laughs> uh, I always say people sleep on the tank. Overall, it's good. Um, good shine against fatness and show the folks how better that average this go to tank is. Yeah, I thank you, nobody, for donation. I think the tank is great, but my goodness, I am, I am very molded. I was like, there is no way I missed that shot. My reticle was dead center of his vehicle there. That is not my fault. That is, um, well, okay. It was my fault afterwards because I couldn't figure out where to rotate out to. I, was, I wasn't sure which way the E4 would come from, if we come from their spawn or not. But, like, the kill shot play on the Sheridan would have been perfectly fine because then I could have pulled up and gone haul down. And that E4 was not a very good player, I could tell. And so I could have easily have cleared him out there. But, man, that hurts. That hurts when the game is, uh, is going to troll you like that. People I was like, no way that shot didn't pen the Sheridan. All right, we're going to be very aggressive on the heavy side here. You can see it looks like they already have some tanks going towards the opposite side of the map here. Let's load up an APCR shell for the Minerato. Very nice. Get some early damage into him. The Kranwagen is also headed over towards this way. Wow, the enemy team sending a whole lot of vehicles over here. So I was going to pull up, but actually I don't want to get crossfired by the Minerato. It's me and an E6 as well. Actually, this game's gonna, this game's gonna, this game's gonna blow. This game is absolutely gonna blow. I'm gonna begin my process of relocating while I can. Put a quick shot onto this man's here. And we're gonna start pulling back because their team is just gonna full send it here. My allies are kind of really nowhere to be found at the moment. All right, I'm gonna try and help this dude a little bit. There we go, 530 damage to him. We're just gonna keep the process of retreating. We actually might be able to hold hull down here with the E6. This is not a terrible position for my tank, I think. 505 into him there. Look at this gun, man. 
There's no way this tank should not be popular. It has such a snappy high alpha damage gun. It's just outrageous in my opinion. All right, let's see if we can start putting some shells to the E100. That's an APCR shell there for him. We can keep holding. I think we made the right rotation out there. I really wasn't expecting their whole team to full send it through there. Um, so I'm thankful that I did rotate out when I when I, uh, I tried to there. And I don't quite have the gun depression here, but this dude is in the open. So let's put a quick shell into the E100 here. Good stuff. E100 is going to get distracted on the flank, leaving this Type 71 for me and the E6 here to deal with. And I think we should have no problems dealing with this Type 71 here. So let's put a quick shot into the Type 71's turret. I'm going to pressure the Type here. We'll get nice and close for that face hug. There we go. And um, we will have to keep an eye out for the M60 behind us. Let's see if the I-7 can pop a quick shot into this man's here. There we go. Quick and easy clear. We're going to use this rock as fall down cover from the... Uh, M60 behind us. There we go. And we should be nice and safe here to pick up a clear onto this type here with an APCR shell. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Now that that dude's gone, I'm going to wait till the Minotauro maybe gets a little bit more distracted here. He fired once. Let's see if he fires a second time or a third time. I'm going to push forward here because the game is close. Let's retract this dude. There we go. Retracting him. We're going to pull all the way down for the T-123 here. Try and avoid that T-123. We do manage to avoid him. I should be able to pick up a quick clear on this dude as well. There we go. Nice and easy clear there. Now we still have an M60 on the flank to watch out for, but at least the C100 should hopefully struggle to pen me a little bit here. I'm gonna try and damage his gun at least, or not quite. Uh, buddy, you need to watch out for the 100 Okay, our I7's in a bad position. We need our M60 to maybe clear out that E100 on the side here. But you know what? Maybe I'll start pressuring the 100 a little bit. Also, we are down double caps. That is a big problem that we're gonna have to start dealing with here in a moment. All right, so we're gonna start hopping on the cap here for them cap defense points. M60 being a bit of a nuisance still. I'm just here for cap resets here. E e E3 just fired. Let's put a shell towards his lower plate. Unfortunately, that one misses. Um, M60, we're going to have to send it together here, boy. Come on. I got to get the cap here as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll pick up the clear on him. Oh, nice, nice clear there by him. We can use this 113 as hold on cover as well here. And hopefully we can still win this. Our M60 will definitely need to go for a bit of a flanking maneuver here, though. That's for sure. All right. So the E3 is pulling back. Let's see if we can start pressing to E3 with our M60 here. Or M48 Patton. Yo, Patton running into a wall. That's not good. That's not good. Patton getting nuked as well. Also not good. Um, Patton hitting one shell here. Patton's probably going to get himself killed here pretty quickly. I think. Yeah. This Patton is, uh, is donezo. Let's see if we can ram kill this dude at least. No, no ram kill. We're probably going to get penned through the mantle here too. Unfortunately. I'm just going to try and wiggle as much. Okay, Patton with the clutch clear there. Patton, can you stay alive? I'll push in for you. I'll push in for you, buddy. All right, the M60 is now going to flink around here. Let's see if we can aim for a track shot on him at all. 438 damage is going to give our patent enough room to get out from here. So this is going to be a bit of a problem for us. Um, our patent is going to... I need to send it. We don't have time with the caps here. The caps are going to be the problem. That's for sure. All right, here's the M60. Quick shot to him here. It's a GG. It's a GG. Oh, it's such a GG. Caps. <laughs> Darn you, Supremacy! I hate you! Oh, I hate you, Supremacy. If only I'd hit that one lower play shot onto the E3 earlier. Well played to the patent. He did his best. Um, 6,200 damage in the VZ. Another loss, another ace. I think, once again, showing how the VZ could just really farm up, right? And you play in the right positions. But, um... Man, uh, Supremacy, uh, Supremacy screwed me over there for, uh, for that battle. Unfortunately, we did not have caps. Should have capped A sooner. Uh, but we had to clear out A first, so that was kind of the issue there. I think we played it pretty okay, and if that wasn't a Supremacy match, that easily would have been 6,500-ish damage W there. Um, darn it! Can I just win? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the hair looks hard today. Oh, thank you very much, Calistra. Calistra. I really like this tank, but I will say it has uh, an silly weak fuel tank and gets it on fire from my experience. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, you know what, guys? I am tired of losing the cap. We're going to play town here. Maybe a bad idea. Maybe not. Um, they do have some nasty town tanks, but I think the VZ can play town okay. So I'm going to see if I can start immediately going for them A resets. and we Let's see if we can get a double cap in town and kind of force their team out. Firstly, we need to assume their team is even going town, which, okay, they are. They're just a bit slow about it. There is a 183 who has not spotted me yet, and that is what I call RNG scamming you. Yeah, it's a very cool thing, ain't it? All right, RNG has scammed me for that one there. 
We can probably peek this, retrack him. There we go. He, he is making a massive, massive mistake and is now a one tap. And so that's a W for me and my allies here. Let's just make a little bit of a peek around this corner, see if we have any shots on these dudes. Boom, quick snapshot onto the O. Once again, just showcasing how lovely this gun can be. Let's angle up the hull a little bit here. Okay, there's an IS-4 trying to make a break for it. Quick side shot, 495 damage. My, my gosh, this gun is so good. It really is so saucy. Also, my allies are getting mega crossfired out now. All right, we have an IS-4 here. Let's try and angle up, 588 damage into him. My concern is the fact that there's still a 183 in Narnia over there. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do my best from back here without getting myself killed. Um, this IS-4 might give me a shot here. Let's make the IS-4 one shot if we can. I can't quite do that. And I gotta start allocating my attention towards this rear here because that's gonna be a bit of an issue. 183 has finally been taken down. I think the Minerato should have this dude. Nice, just wanted to make sure he was cleared out before I made any big brain plays here. E4 in the open, can't quite shoot him. It's fine, we have a decent crossfire from here now. Um, the Yo still needs to get taken down, that's for sure. Let's see, this E4 is about to poke in. Let's take a shot into him, 466, nice. And I can angle up the hole now for a bit of a side scrape here. There we go. E4 shoots. We should be able to pop another shell into him before it's too late. Nice, 416 to him there. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay and are in a position to actually win this game. So that's going to be a huge dub for me and my allies. Finally, we should not lose one, hopefully. Quick kill shot into this man's here. I don't know if the E4 is going to pull forward or not. He has not decided to pull forward here. So I'm going to start capitalizing on the... Mm, maybe not. I was going to say KPZ's bad positioning, but KPZ just doesn't seem to care. He's sending it. Oh, Bad shot. That was a bad shot for sure. All right, KPZ is getting himself killed, so I'm going to push in on the KPZ and hopefully hit him where it hurts. Oh, yeah. Okay, can't HEM, but we'll put an AP shell in there. Very nice. And he gets taken out. Oh, we finally won, guys. We finally won. Watch this whole get Amorax. No, there's no way. We finally win, boys. We finally got ourselves a W. Uh, that was still a really close game. That was still a really close game. You know what? I like close games much better than steamrolls, but aye, aye, aye. Uh, just about 4,000 damage there. And yeah, another ace. Three aces in a row. Really, no one plays this deck. So easy. Ace. GG Minotaro. Um, there we go. That's a little better. Not high damage, but I take the W on a slightly lower damage. You know. You know. <laughs> Snappy gun. What happens when you shoot a Sheridan? That wasn't even the gun's fault. That was a server reticle uh, issue where if you shoot when your turret is still rotating, for some weird reason, the game that the game's actual... Um, the game's turret is not where it is visibly showing on your screen. Like on my screen, the reticle is fully in the center of the Sheridan. And from the game's point of view, it's not. That's why you get shots like that on the rotation. Really annoying. I can't tell you how many times I've gone for those snapshot kills that where my, you know, my gun looks like it was centered on a vehicle and the shot just goes like completely a different direction. Really, really annoying. I would say though, the gun is still a real snappy. Okay, we have the good spawn on canal. And we can definitely go into C-Cap here and hopefully, hopefully farm haul down from the mid. As far as my opposition is concerned, an I-7 might be a little troublesome. 57s are annoying, but easy to deal with with this tank. Uh, STRVK is not very much armor. Um, a few TDs, that could be a problem. But I think we'll be well set over in this engagement to take the seed side combat. So that's what we're going to do here. I don't think the prog's going to cross all the way over. Take it back. The prog is definitely going to cross all the way over. Unfortunately, very small gap. Those bushes act as great camouflage for ticks that are crossing. It's hard to align your reticle perfectly there. Um, but he should get taken out. I don't think a prog is going to do all that well in that corner. I'm going to start off by spotting up this side here. We see there's an IS-7. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Not able to hit him. Um, and it looks like already they're, they're sending some vehicles into town here, which I'm a bit surprised at. And we might be able to hit a quick snapshot onto this STRV. There we go. And we also might be able to cap A here, which is kind of my goal. There we go. Now we won't have a cap deficit right off the bat. So that's huge. And let's see. We've already picked up one to one in terms of kills here. STRV is in a kind of a bad position here. Let's put a quick shot onto him. There we go. 500 damage there. For 878. Double tap. What low rolls? I should have been at 900 already. I feel scammed. Betrayed. Even. All right. Minotauro. 450 damage there. Nice little snapshot into him. I think we're definitely going to win this side of the map here. As they are all sorts of in crossfires at the moment. Um, let's see. This I7. I7 not quite peaking. 
I might even get ready to position myself to start counter pushing this I7 as they have a 57 and another TD kind of just steamrolling through our spawn at the moment. So, hello, Mr. I7. Let's do this, buddy. Let's, let, let, let's do this, buddy. All right. Quick shell to him. 500 with the uh, AP max roll there. And let's not put ourselves in a crossfire with the Jaeger rear. So I'm going to begin the process of reversing here so I don't get myself completely crossfired out. See if the I7 takes the bait. He does. 480 damage to him there. Angle up the hall a little bit. There we go. Bouncing off that upper plate. I'll just deal with the IS-7 for now while my allies clear out those two uh, TDs and heavies back there. So quick shot into the IS-7 again. Wow, talk about some low rolls. 401 there. I can make sure I'm not going to get crossfired out here. The Minerato should get taken out soon, I think. IS-7 just kind of chilling here. I think we're going to big time win this game. So let's pull over. Snapshot. Almost, almost. And wow, this game's actually already over. So uh, GG to the enemy team here. Not really, but uh, GG all the same. <laughs> Come on, one more shell to that dude. There we go. Because that dude's going to get killed very quickly here. And now we just need to accumulate as much damage as we can before it's too late. So quick ram into the I-7 for an extra 120 damage here. And another shell through his upper plate. The hit marker glitching out there, I guess, a little bit. There we go. And uh, I guess that's a GG, if I say so myself, guys. That's a good game. Another W for the team. Um, not really sure why they sent tanks to town, but, you know, I'll take it. I think I did about 3,700 or so that game. With the RAM included, it should put me pretty high. Oh, 4,023. Another ace, by the way. Another ace, by the way. Because really no one plays this. What, what, you, what you mad about? Chungle, man. Hey, yo, buddy. Buddy. What's with this absurdity, buddy? You so bad. <laughs> VZ is more mobile. Uh, tier uh, tier 10 is greater than tier 8. 100%. And tier 9 is probably the greatest tier of all time. Nah, nah fan. His name is... <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, first time catching stream. Hello, Smirk. Welcome to the first time catching stream. Uh, how similar is this tank to the Skoda T56? Just joined the stream. Sorry if that was asked. I haven't really played the Skoda T56, but from what I remember, I think they are actually quite similar with punchy guns and... You know, a decent amount of armor and some weak spots, but I think the VZ is more mobile, if I remember correctly. Um, <clears throat> Skoda has better side armor, that's true. The VZ isn't really much of a side scraping vehicle, that's for sure. Um, you don't want to sit there trusting too much in the side scrape. You can, to an extent, side scrape thanks to its large tracks, and you can definitely base shells into the drive wheels and everything. That's what I usually end up trying to do when I am in the VZ. I don't, you know, I we have a lot of heavies. I don't usually play B cap. Let's try playing B cap. Let's see if it works. I usually don't. So if I uh, if I end up making a terrible play here and get farmed out, I apologize. This is not a position I am accustomed to playing. All right. So we have a wild T125 in front of us. Look at that gun, man. Do you see how we just flossed a shot into that little little speck of lower plate there? Yeah. And that's a 470 alpha damage dispersion, by the way, you know? Like, if you were to compare this to an IS-7 with its 460 alpha, like, yeah, I would definitely take this over an IS-7 any day, just, just due to its actual usable gun. There we go, 460 damage to this man here. Let's back up a little bit. We actually have some hull down positioning on these fools here, um, especially if they keep poking out to try and shoot at us. Let's put another shot into the C-75. Dispersion uh, was fine, but RNG was not there. And let's just keep kind of holding in this position here. I don't think he has a good shot on me. He does not. It looks like their team is, for the most part, heading on over through our spawn. So that's good to know. Uh, do we keep sitting here? I think the C-75 is the type to poke again. Oh, but he's got that insane side scraping abilities. Let's put a shot through the front of his turret, maybe. Not quite. I'm going to back What's up a little bit now. You can drive an so, T-125 getting a little bit aggro here. And there is definitely a 405 crawling up towards our spawn as well. And we don't want to... Don't want to overextend to a 405. Snapshot to the E5's lower plate there. Good stuff. Our flank is getting absolutely murked right now, and so is our mouse. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is actually start counter pushing for this E5 just a little bit. Because this E5 is in a position where he is free farming my allies. Quick shot to the E5. 469 damage there. We also managed to damage his ammo rack. Let's try and side scrape it up a little bit here. Not quite able to get the side scrape out there, unfortunately. The problem, once again, being that we are in a kind of a, a big old crossfire here. I'm still going to focus this e, E5 out. Quick shot to him there. And our flank is still going to be a problem. That 1A3 is what's concerning me most at the moment here. Um, E5 popping that adrenaline there. You know what? If I have to take a couple shots, I do. We'll pick up a clear on this, Vans. Nice. The 183 and 907 are still in our spawn. I'm still in a haul down spot for now. Let's see. Am I safe from the 183? I am safe from the 183. 
But we are definitely going to lose the supremacy points, if nothing else. So unfortunately, I had one of those teams that just like straight up refused to move from spawn. Uh, and that's making things a little bit harder for us. That's for sure. I think what we're going to have to do here is pick up a kill on this 114 here. There we go. Quick clear shot onto this dude. Let's pop that repair kit. Then we're going to have to immediately send it for the 4005 here. So let's see if we can pick up a clear on this 405 as well. This is going to be pretty important. I think I might end up turning Supremacy off because I keep losing the cap, unfortunately. And our E75 is very dead. And uh, I'm probably going to be very dead in a moment. See if we catch this dude on fire. If I can prevent this man from dying here, that would be pretty clutch for me and my teammates. Let's try and gun block. No. The prog picking up a clear there. E75 trying to... Oh, 183 don't hit those. Yes, the 183 doesn't hit those. But we... There's still nothing for me to do, man. We did our job. We we held the heavy side really well there, but by golly gee whiz, it was just one of those games. I'm going to turn the supremacy off. The supremacy not being very friendly right now. Um, I couldn't recap A and I couldn't recap C. That was the problem, right? I was frontlining there, trying to hold off kind of that heavy front, keep that E5 at bay, but oh my gosh, zero damage, Fosh. Zero damage, V4. Our mouse sat in spawn and did not even two shots of damage considering it's alpha. Our meds got flawed on the flank. And uh, you know what? E75, 104,000 games. You're the only player that actually knew what you were doing. So, I was playing Supremacy only. No wonder I was getting Supremacy every game. I didn't even know that. Fantasy of sad teams. I do. I do have sad teams. But you know what? I'm not too frustrated about it because I still think my point about the VZ being very good or very underrated is, is true. Like, we've been consistently pulling four, five, six thousand damage out like every single game so far this stream in the last 30 minutes. And yes, we've lost a few games more than I would want. Mostly supremacy losses. I uh, Some of those games I couldn't do much about the caps, unfortunately. Uh, that's why, that's why generally, if I'm going to play Supremacy, I prefer to do it in a medium or a light tank, something where I can zip around the map and reclaim caps when there's a deficit, um, versus your more traditional heavy tank, which might get kind of stuck in a hold down engagement on the front line and not really be able to rotate out to recap A or recap C. Uh, so let's, let's switch it to encounter. We actually had a pretty good run there in the Supremacy mode, just not very good in terms of W's. Uh, but the VZ still doing his job. We pulled out just under 5,000 damage that game. And heck, if we hadn't lost a cap, easy 6,000 damage game there, right? Because the 1 would have had to kind of work some to push me. What I think I might do here is we're going to straight up kind of send it through this ditch here. I have an E100 for support at least. We know where the 183's position is, so that's cool. Um, and as well as the 777's positioning here. I'm going to keep an eye out on my left when I poke up initially. Okay, no one's really here. There is a T1185 and there is a 183. So let's see if we can... Oh, not... Okay, wow. Was not expecting the grill to be quite as aggressive there as he was, but there you have it. Um, I don't know if this girl can really just sit there and poke me. I actually usually don't play the right side ditch, so maybe I won't won't really play it this time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we're definitely not going to... E100, dude. Do you not see the Jagdpanzer E100 flanking us from behind right now? This dude is completely lost in the sauce, man. Completely lost. All right, we're going to track the Yag. We're going to try and get up close and personal so he won't get an easy shot on me here. There we go. He does have them tungsten shells. We're going to pull to his side while he's distracted. There we go. Nice. Able to outplay the Yag a little bit here. And the Yag should go down pretty quickly to me in the XM. There we go. And now I think I'm going to relocate myself into a position where I can more easily deal with tanks like the 777. So... Always be aware of your surroundings, basically. Because, you know, if we weren't aware, that Yag would have just been like, well, oh, don't mind if I do. And just gone over and yeeted us in the side. So, always got to pay attention to that stuff. Um, we know there's a 183 back here somewhere. That's why I'm a bit hesitant to overextend on this corner. As well as the 777 does have a little bit more HP than me at the moment. Uh, the 183 not really in a position to deal with me. I want to see... I really want to be able to kill this E5 if at all possible. There's the 183. Let's put a quick shot onto him there. Our flank is doing okay. We have a 260 on the flank, so I'm not quite as worried about our flank falling apart right now. Uh, 777 should give me a nice side shot here in a moment. And, oh, nice angle by the 777 there. Uh, E100, you, you have to remember, they still have a 183 in the back of their spawn waiting for us to poke him. So maybe not the smartest idea sitting there like that, buddy. Put another shell into the 183. 183 is going to be my priority right now because he's the one that can nuke me for half my HP, my remaining HP at least. Uh, and that just does not sound like a very pleasant experience. Let's track him in place for our V4. 
Alright, well, Hunter looks like he could use some support now, so I'm gonna start pushing in just a little bit here. Let's see, is the 183 looking for me? I don't think he would be looking for me. Make him a one-shot here for our version 4. Version 4 should have the clear there. Nice. And now we can just push in on this 777 here. I'm gonna push around the 777. And if I remember correctly, 777 has a weak ammo rack, so I'm gonna keep shooting him right where his ammo rack theoretically would be located. Um, I'm also gonna keep some distance between me and him. All his fuel tanks, maybe. Fuel tanks could be huge here. Let's wait for him to stop catching on fire. Not quite. E100, you should have the clear there, buddy. I believe in you, buddy. Nice. He does manage to pick up the clear there. Uh, STB making some rather unorthodox plays, considering his lack of HP. And, uh, yeah. It, that should be the STB, Dan. There we go. Look at that dispersion. So saucy. The grill does shoot me, unfortunately, which is, uh, a bit unfortunate for me, but also, uh, Mr. Grill, you are dead. Back up from the bat chat. There we go. All right. So picking up a few kills there, I think we played that ditch quite well. And we were fairly aggressive. That's 4,000 damage out of this game fairly easily here. And I think the bat chat's going to make a breakthrough here. I can't quite tell. He's definitely making a breakthrough somewhere. Uh, he might debate back through our spawn or something. We'll have to be a little bit careful because our V4 could definitely get outplayed. I don't know if our XM will. And I really don't want to lose another game. So let's just take it easy for now. It's back down from this hill even. I'll let my TDs do the spotting. Okay, the batch has spotted our version 4. Uh, I don't know if he's going in through the entrance of town or sitting back over there. There's a chance he's going through our town site. So, I'm going to see if I can set up for the batch at relocating at all. Let's see. Mr. Bashotion, where are you? Ah, uh, the hunt's afoot. The hunt is afoot. <laughs> Oh, Batchat's shooting our, our XM. Okay, thank you, XM, for pinging the map. The XM telling us where the Bashaltheon is located. So it looks like he's in one of these spawn bushes in the back. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, we are spotted, unfortunately, here. But I can hug this rock for now and be somewhat safe from the Batchat's endeavors. Oh, the Batchat gets himself killed. Nice shot by the version 4 there. About 4,000 damage. W. Let's go. W's in the chat. I... This is when Supremacy would have been a little nicer, maybe, just so we could cap out the batch app faster, but at least we're winning. At least we're winning. I'll take that, right? Um, so, once again, probably, what, an ace in the tank? Yeah, this tank's like an ace every single game. So, here's a little hint. We profited 135,000 credits that game. I don't even think I have boosters active right now. Or, oh, I do have credit boosters, but just the blue ones. So, I am making an extra... Up to 35,000 credits per game. So, you know, but we still would have profited around 100,000 credits that game, even without the boosters on. If you are down bad for credits and you really need some credits to grind out, um, but you also don't want to be stuck in tier 8 playing premium tanks all day, pick yourself up something like a VZ. Uh, if you can do three, 4,000 damage relatively consistently, bingo, you are going to have a lot of credits. And if you're asking how on my main account I became a Blitz Billionaire, nope, I did not grind credits, I did not play tournaments for it, nothing like that. I basically just played Tier 10 and aced so many of my tanks to the point where I became a Blitz Billionaire. It's pretty easy, so just a pro tip for those of you who might be struggling with credits, go find yourself a tank that's easy to ace. Each ace tanker badge gets you 100,000 credits per that battle. Really, really easy and a much more enjoyable way to make income in the game than playing tier 8 or grinding quick tournaments if you're if you have to do that. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go help my meds in the corner here. Um, usually wouldn't take my heavy here, but you know what? I'll make an exception this time as I don't think a 4202 and a Leo 1 are gonna do all that well in this corner versus tanks like a 62A and a T22 that are hauled down. So, I'm, oh, oh, buddy, you backed right into me. So don't, don't do that. That's that's a, that's a silly play, my dude. All right, let's pull forward here, aim for a shot on the 62A's lower plate, and unfortunately, we do get a little scammed there, but it is what it is. We are going to now start aiming in for this Badger. I'm gonna aim APCR because Badger side armor goes burr. Um, apparently the T-22 is just gonna take a shot from his 60 TP because he would rather sit around and tunnel me than, um, do something logical. Okay. Let's see. Our 60 TP is being quite aggro in the corner now. Hello, buddy. Oh, I- wow. It did not even look like he was aiming for me there. Anyways, I'm gonna go help our 60 TP in the corner here. There's no point in me staying back. The, our whole team is sending it here. I may as well send it as well. Hook shot into this dude here. There's the 4005. Good to know. Um, Badgers also hold down a little bit over here, but I think, yeah, my team is just straight up sending it here. Shout out to the teammates. Seven degrees of gun depression, kind of just barely enough for me to work this corner. And so that's, that's kind of nice. That dude should go down to the 60 TP pretty soon here. 
Maybe we can put one more shell into his vehicle. Not quite. I don't really have the gun depression, so I'm going to start dealing with tanks like this 4005, maybe. Or even this... Okay, what the heck, buddy? You're getting pushed on from behind. How are you doing this? <laughs> I thought for sure the 777 was going to start allocating his attention towards that flank there, but nah, buddy has different plans. All right. Speaking of different plans, this tank is pretty light, so let's ram him. Wow. Okay, he just got annihilated there. Well, I don't think we're farming very much this time, guys. We might not actually get the ace here. Because I basically took my time at the corner helping my teammates out. And then their whole team just got obliterated from back here. We've only done 2,000 damage so far. Ain't that unfortunate, guys. Ain't that unfortunate. Still with 470 alpha damage, we might be able to hit one shot into this man's here. Nice. Not sure where the 60 TP is. If he's farming our mouse. Oh, he is on the flank. Interesting play indeed. And let's see if there's anything we can do about him. 60 TP already getting farmed out by the mouse there. Funny, funny memes. And yeah, I mean, I'll take it. It's a GG. My team was definitely so much better than the enemy's team. It wasn't even a, like a close game, so I won't take too much pride in this battle. But yeah, at least we won, right? Hat shot? Almost. <laughs> ah, he missed me. You're wrecked, brother. All right. All right, let's try and get me one more shot at least. Come on. No, I should have kept pulling forward faster. No, don't don't get farmed out. At least let me get to the to the 3,000 damage mark. I'll feel so much happier. Thank you. <laughs> 3k damage dealt. I won't feel like a complete bot this game. Hello, 4202. <laughs> Yay, W's in the chat. <laughs> no, fast. why you cut your hair now? You look like you want to be some white. <laughs> What? What are you? What are you smoking, McDoggy? What is that's still first class somehow? Uh, McDoggy, I have no idea how me cutting my hair has anything to do with Hawaiians, let alone the statement you just you just made. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend I didn't read that and move on. I just watched the 2019 Twister Cup. You killed it in the Fosh. That was awesome. Ah, thank you. Too bad we did not kill it in the final round there. We made it to the finals. I wish we could have won. That would have been sick, but uh, do appreciate it. Good stuff, you know? Alrighty. <laughs> what? No M? Uh, it was only 3,000 flat damage. Yeah, this game roll. Who are we kidding? That would be a crazy ace. Uh, I could have gone med side, but I think once again, I'm just going to take this tank kind of heavy side and try and go for that hold on farm on their 60 TP, Kron, 777, you know, tanks like that. Hopefully having a good time dealing that damage. That's 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 the agenda for this game. I do have an E100 to 60 TP Lewandowski with me, so I think we are chilling on this flank. I'm gonna just try and get that early spot over this ridge line. Okay, they are coming this way by the knockdown trees. Um, which one will it be? So it's a 777, interesting. So a 777 is spotted over here. Hat shot into him. Good stuff. You get that nice early hat shot into the 777 here. Mr. 777 might be wondering, how was I penned there? Well, sir, you were penned through that little hatch, which does not look all that penable, but it's actually a huge weak spot of the tank. It's very easy to hit and pen that hatch there. Another shot into the 777. 520 damage to him. This dude has really no clue what he's doing, so I'm just going to... Just gonna take advantage of that. I'm just gonna capitalize on that and farm him out here. Another shot to lower plate. 588 max roll. We've already dealt 2,000 damage to this dude. Like, come on, man. This tank is not. This tank has no chill. It's like when it when you when you when you get put in front of this tank in a bad position, it's gonna clean you up. It's gonna it's gonna finish you off real fast. All right. Even though it's not high DPM, its ability to trade is very high, and so that's always really really clutch. I don't know why the Kron's looking this way when there's. Buddy, there is literally a 183 of... Okay, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I, well, let's not question it. We've already dealt just under 3,000 damage here, though, so I'm happy. Um, hi, 100. I don't know if the 100 was typing something in chat or not. Dude went AFK there for a moment, but uh, let's see what we can do now. All right, so the 30 or 50B is pretty close to us now. I think I know what to do. If I'm not spotted yet, might have been spotted through that ridge there. We might might have been. If we can get a nice HE into the 50B side, that would be really pleasant for me. Okay, not quite. So let's put an AP into him instead. Nice. And we do bounce 340. We also bounce 350. That's probably an APCR round from the 4005, which has, I think, 380 alpha, if I remember correctly. Or no, 410. Is it 410? I think it's 410. Alrighty. You know what? We'll just take a different position now. We might take a shot or two from the 4005 here. We are pretty healthy, at least, so that's helpful. Um, and I'm going to help my team kind of re-clear out our spawn, if possible. Alright, so the 50B is over here in this ditch now. 
E100 starting to pressure him, so I think I'm gonna push on behind this 50B. We're gonna farm some damage up this game, I think, big time. Put a nice HE shell into this man. Just pull down from the bat shot here. There we go. We do manage to pull down from the bat shot. The almost not let the 50B back up so that E100 can also continue farming him. Another HE there. 520 is a bit of a low roll, if I say so myself. We do have a bat shot coming in here. The Yo should have the clear. Bat shot is kind of sending it at the moment. Let's put a quick shell into the bat shot here. Five, 392 damage. I'll take it. And we should easily be able to pull out a 5,000 damage game here, methinks. Methinks this is an easy easy 5k. So let's see what this Bash Shot Theon decides to do here. Bash Shot Theon making a big break for it. Track shot into him there. Just damaged my ammo rack a little bit, but he- Oh, he, he got baited in the sting in the open and died. Not a not a good look, Bat Chat. 5,200 damage dealt. Like, come on, man. This tank farms up so easily. All right, Maxwell HE, no spell liner, please. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Come on, give me that 7,000 damage game. I want 7,000 damage this battle. 405, please don't poke the yo. Don't poke the yo, buddy. Give your boy that 5,000 damage game. Oh, uh, our 7,000 damage battle. Give him that 7,000 damage battle. Make it happen. I want my 7K. Where are you at, CS? Where are you at, CS? There's the CS. CS, CS, CS. No. Oh, the 183 hit him, though. Oh, wait. He's going to keep running, though. Is he going to keep running? Please keep running straight to Papa. Run straight into Papa, buddy. Straight for me. Yes. Yes, that's right. Come straight for me, my dude. Come straight for me. I want my damages. <laughs> Please. I need the 7K. The 7K is on... The 7K is on the line here. Oh, yes. All right. Quick shot. There we go. That should put me at 7,000. We have accomplished 7,000 damage, ladies and gentlemen. And that's GG, because this dude's going to die before I can get another shot into him, probably. Nope. 7,000, what? 7,300 damage? 7,300 damage? Come on, man. Did that feel like a 7,300 damage game? Did it really feel like a 7,300 damage game? Like... <laughs> I love this tank. I actually straight up love this tank. 200,000 credits profit, by the way. Remember what I was saying about those ace tanker badges? I think high caliber also gives you credits. I do not remember. Oh yeah, more credits. See, high caliber gets you an extra 50,000 credits in tier 10. So 50,000 credits from a high caliber metal. The ace badge gives you 100,000. If I remember right, if you get a call about of 75,000 credits. Metals are the name of the game when it comes to making credits there. Um, you know what? Shout out to the 60 TP. Shout out to the yo. Um, somehow I still had two tier 10s do zero damage, which is why we were able to get so much damage that game, but 7,300 damage there, two kills. I'm happy with that. And it wasn't even like a hard, sweaty game. I was chasing damage there. I wasn't struggling to win. I was chasing damage. Um, paid actor to you 2.4k damage. Yeah, we did full health in object 777. Uh, but <laughs> bad though he may be, doesn't stop the game from being great, right? Um, yeah. This low key is probably one of my best sessions I've had in a tank on stream in a while. Like the amount of five, six, and now I can say 7,000 damage games I've accomplished in this short time frame is kind of crazy, right? And I'm not even a heavy tank player. Like I don't even really care for playing heavy tanks all that much, but goodness, this tank's gun is just so good. There's, I, I just cannot comprehend how this is a bottom three played tank in tier 10. I, I, I don't understand why people are sleeping on this tank so much. Because, at least in the right hands, it cooks hardcore. This is why Fidu, and if you know Fidu, you know he's also an extremely good rain player with 70% win rate, ton of 4k tanks. He's, he knows what he's talking about. Has been telling me for ages now to stream this tank. He's been telling me for ages to stream this tank. He's telling me about how good this vehicle is and that I need to stream it. And I think, you know, this is why. Because it has so much potential. And I feel like people are just really sleeping on that potential. So the 60 TP has resorted to shooting HG at me. That's a bit of a bizarre take. Now, like I said, this tank is probably not the best vehicle to try and side scrape in. But you know what? We can maybe we can maybe get some little sneaky shots in from here. Looks like, oh yeah, their whole team is stuck in front of us. And they're getting crossfired out already. So since their team is already back there, they're getting crossfired out. I'm just going to see if I can just chill back here a little bit. Maybe maybe get a hatch onto the type there. Not quite. 60 TP still spamming HE at me. I don't want to overextend here and bleed. Um, although I should be able to out reload these dudes. Maybe not the type. Okay, the type unfortunately does hit me there. Let's put a quick shot onto the 60 TP. There we go. This is not going to be a farm game. I'm looking at the positioning. Their team is all stuck in a quarter and bleeding. The odds of me like giga farming here I think are pretty low. 
Let's see if the 60 TP and uh, Type 71 shoot at anyone. Okay, one of them fired. I think the 60 TP stalls a shell though. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, 60 TP finally pulling in a little bit here. Yak's pushing down. 60 TP once again gonna give me that weak spot, so let's snipe it because this gun certainly can. And now our meds have gotten cleared out, so that's a bit unfortunate. We have lost that kind of crossfire on the flank here. Um, we do have a crossfire on this Yag, though, and oh, he barely angled it up there. That Yag is very, very fortunate with his timing there. Very fortunate. I think probably the most important thing I could be doing right now is not bleeding any HP out unnecessarily, so I'm going to try and take it a little easy. It's me and the 777 holding this whole front line here. Um... Fortunately, this Type 71 is playing really aggro here, so we can start sniping his hatch here. And once again, this is where a 777, as good as its armor profile is, is maybe going to struggle just a little bit here. And we do have to worry about those crossfires soon. The reason I can't side scrape anymore is that grill is kind of pre-aiming this corner. There we go. We managed to bait one out of the type here. Quick shot into his weak spot. Now we have to begin to worry a little bit more about our flank at the moment. Our 777, fortunately, is in a position to kind of take some shells here. This grill could be a problem. So the grill is pulling forward. Fortunately, not able to hit the grill there. My allies are falling apart. No. That's not good. All right. Our allies are definitely falling apart here. N big no bueno. The big no bueno. All right. Let's see if this grill pulls forward. There we go. Quick shot to the grill here. The problem's going to be the 30B and the grill on our flank. You know what? I have to give respect where uh, respect is due. The enemy's counter push into our spawn was pretty solid. They definitely managed to take out our allies quite well there, so credit to them there. Oh my gosh, why did it take so long to spot them? <laughs> why did it take so long to spot the fool? All right, all right, all right, one ricochet here. Uh, just one more shot of damage out, at least. I'll be happy. I'll take it. <laughs> what? No, we ricocheted that. No way. No. What was my team? Uh, Andy's. Andy's out here throwing. You know what? The meds were cooking and then the meds got counter pushed. Maybe. Maybe when the meds got counter pushed. Still 3,500 damage there. Not the worst. Okay. You know what? Me and the 777 held the heavy side fine. It was the. Uh... Oh, look. It's angry. It's angry Foshman. Angry Foshman. Let's. Whoa. Whoa. Two shots of damage. Gotta give him a thumb up for that. Gotta, gotta give him a thumbs up for his crucial contribution to the team there. Um, 30, You know what? I'm not too salty about that. It was just one of those wacky games. In retrospect, maybe I should have counter pushed the 60 TP and Type 71. The, the problem was, though, they still had a K91 with a crossfire that I would have been pushing into there, which would have been very unfortunate. Um, and there would have just, you know, it, I, I can't guarantee that Object 777 there was going to push with me. That's why I was too scared to make that push. But in retrospect, once I noticed that grill and that 30B and that Yag had all left that flank, maybe I should have upped the aggression on their heavy side to clear it out. Although, truth be told, I don't, I really don't think our team would have won there regardless. Oh, what's up, Ritz Crackers? It's the GOAT. What's good, buddy? <laughs> Ritz Crackers on the, in the game here. Good to see you, dude. How's it going? Um, let's jump into the next battle and hopefully have a good time. We've been streaming for about an hour, and so far, I've actually really enjoyed the experience with the, uh, the VZ55. Although, I will admit, I probably only have about a 60% win rate in it. So, that's, that's a bit of a yikes. But, you know what? I've still really enjoyed the experience in this tank. All right, you know what? You know what's not going to be so enjoyable? Crossing to this corner here and getting crossfired out right off the bat. We'll see if that happens or not. Okay, not not yet. See, conqueror is the conqueror going to cross? Maybe not yet. He's thinking about it, right? He's thinking about it. All right, quick shot to the conqueror. Five hundred thirty-two damage into him. Good stuff. He also got retracted there, and if he doesn't have a repair kit or if he uses repair kit late, we might be able to hit another shell to him here. Not quite able to hit another shell into him, but there's the IS-4. Quick shell into him there. On the move, because I was going less than 50 kilometers, uh, 15 kilometers an hour, I was able to kind of catch that IS-4 out a little bit there. And I'm probably going to just be pretty aggressive up here. There's a Gorilla 15. Even with the spot liner, still able to do 500 damage to him. Looks like my teammates are cooking over here, and their team is about to become cooked. So, let's get ready to put another shell in towards Mr. IS-4 here. APCR maybe? Nope. Bad shot by me, all the same. And uh, there is a 57 in front of us. We have to look out for him. All right, we'll use this dude as a meat shield from the 57. I mean, the 5A can just take turns poking him. Alrighty, Mr. 57, 480 into you there. Good stuff. I should be safe from the crossfires for the most part. 
Yep, we are chilling. This game's already over. GG, basically. It's just a GG at this point. Alright, maybe we can even Amarak him here. Ah, not quite. Maybe if I had a max roll there, that would have been clutch. Alright, E50M's in spawn. Prague and Ice 4 are both in front of me. Projeto is trying to make a break for it. He's about to get HE'd up the booty cheeks. There we go. 560 HE into him there. That's always satisfying, right? Ice 4 is about to get taken out. And that's just, um, oh, there's a 60 TP wandering in her spawn. So, good game. It's over. It's already over. Their, their heavy tanks got yeeted, and that's all I need to say. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll hit one shell into this dude. Max roll, please. Not quite, but I'll take 500. That's 3,500 damage dealt that game. For a two and a half minute game, I'll take it. A pretty quick, uh, pretty quick 7-0 match there. Their team was not very good. <sighs> What's good, Fidu? What's good? You missed some of the spicy damage farm earlier. Got, uh, got some very saucy games. <laughs> earlier at the VZ. <gasps> Only a second class? No way. GG 60 TP. You played that well. Batch as well. And hey, Ritz Crackers. Good to see a fist bump for you. Um, <clears throat> some people are salty simply for the sake of being salty. I guess. I guess. Okay. They have they have an Apex player. You know, they have, they have a better chance of winning this time. It might not be such a 7-0 sweep. I hope my team can push left with me because if we can trap them in their own spawn, it's almost always an automatic victory. Not all the time, but most of the time... From this map, because Wargaming still has not quite balanced vineyards out properly, um, our spawn has a massive advantage on pushing that side. So, the Batchet's going to Sector 1, looks like the Prog and the XM are going to Sector 1. I'm gonna go Sector 1 and immediately start going for the ramps there. And hopefully we can pretty quickly just push the enemy team into the pocket of their spawn and get the win. That's usually what happens if your team plays this properly. And I think a lot of players know that nowadays, and a lot of players are very willing to make that push because it's so easy to defeat their team when they're all spawn stuck. All right. Here's a 2 and 5B. Unfortunately, we do get hit there. Uh, the Sheridan spotted me a bit earlier than I would have wanted, so that kind of prevented me from getting out, uh, getting the safe crossing there, but it's not the end of the world all the same. If this concept decides he wants to poke below us, that's not going to be a good play for him. This concept making some very questionable plays here. Sheridan not quite in a position to shoot at me. Looks like the Sheridan might even be pulling back. So it might help our prog here on the concept. Let's get ready to put a quick shot to the concept's lower plate. There we go. Prog should be able to clip him out as well. Bash out Theon is getting rushed. I'm going to see if there's any chance I can assist him there. Because we need uh, we need a bash out alive on this flank. Bash out, please pull him into the open for me. Thank you. There we go. 400 damage into him there. Uh, just keep just keep baiting him into the open if you can, Mr. Bash out. That's all I ask. Oh, it's Ritz again. Mr. Batchat, do your thing. Do your thing, queen. No, don't die, Batchat. Don't die. Don't die, buddy. If you die, it's all, all over for us. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Ritz. Gotta do it for the Ws. I ain't have no more losses. Not after all those supremacy cap losses we had so far at the, end, at the beginning of the stream. All right, max roll, please. Ah, oh, not quite. Able to hit that nice dunk shot on him, though, because... That mechanic meant my dispersion just was not going to enlarge itself. <laughs> Get enlarged. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, 2 and 5B. Okay. Maybe overextending a little bit. I was going to see if I can shoot the Leo because I'm more concerned about the Leo, but uh, maybe not such a big issue after all. Um, oh, wait. Speaking of the Leo. Speaking of the Leo. Okay. The Leo's in Narnia. The Sheridan is absolutely sending it right now. Sheridan making some very suspect plays indeed, and the Leo might be rotating back here. Oh, come on. That's, 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 that's boo. So uncool. All right. You know what I'm going to do? Our prog's fine for now. Um, I might push through back towards the ruins here just to clear this dude, the Sheridan, out. Because the Sheridan is definitely going to be a bit of a nuisance for my teammates here. And I don't want them to all get crossfired out right away. So. All right. Let's see if the Sheridan is making his rotation out or not. There we go. Quick shell to the Sheridan there. Nice stuff. Actually, I can keep the momentum forward here. Just push into him. He's stuck on a wall anyways. So, Mr. Sharadon is a little bit stuck here. I'm gonna act like I'm too slow to do anything. You're gonna drop down, buddy, or you're just gonna sit there? I, I guess he's just gonna sit there and die. Oh, he's definitely dead now if he wasn't dead earlier. <laughs> That's a GG. Not much of a damage farm game once again, but my team did exactly what I said they would, right? I'm sorry our Batchat died there, but... You take the ruins away from the enemy team, you push into their spawn, they get all trapped in the encounter cap. It's such an easy W. And unfortunately, a bit of a map design flaw there, in my opinion, because it's just super easy to make that push, and they can't do anything about it. They can't really counter it. They can't do the same push. It's just, you're kind of just stuck there, and you have to, you have to take what you get. All right. 
So maybe we can get a 3k if we get one shot into this crown wagon here. There we go. Or 2800 or so, maybe. I don't know how much damage I did. It wasn't all... Okay, 3000. I'll take a 3k. That was a bit of a steamroll. Ah, uh, dirty fat is. <laughs> Team's kind of improved after turning Supremacy off. Well, yeah, a little bit. Uh, maybe just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> The reason I turned Supremacy- Oh, that's an ace! 3,000 damage is an ace! Ay ay ay! Good job to our prog there. Oh, man. We're not getting those juicy 5-6k games every single battle, but... Yeah, I guess that was the start of the stream. Uh, to be fair, I was getting a lot of consistently high damage games in the Supremacy matches, but I kept getting to, like, rat cap positions where we'd be down two caps and I couldn't, like, try and recap both at the same time. I much prefer Old Vineyards map over this current one. Yep, Old Vineyards was much better. Old Vineyards still had that kind of push position, but your allies could actually, from the opposite spawn, could counter it because there is this position, like, right next to Encounter Cap, where that concept died. Uh, and you could go haul down there and farm them for free for days, and you were not able to get counter farmed from town. And so that was actually a pretty safe position to take, and that kind of balanced out the map in my in my personal opinion. I think Vineyards became worse when it got reworked, and I do hope that Wargaming does eventually address the fact that one spawn is just so much easier to take map control of over the other, uh, because... I've had a lot of games where I'm just like, man, this is probably going to be a loss. I'll do what I can, but it's, it's really hard when you're on that one spawn. Don't have this tank, but I always hated facing it. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone so good. Awkward doggo. Nice, nice uh, Joawa profile pick. Uh, VZ for comp. I don't really know if VZ is comp worthy. I'm not up to date on comp. I don't even know if I can formulate opinions on competitive gameplay anymore. It's been quite a few years since I last played Blitz competitively. And I think, in all fairness, if you want to ask about its comp ability, you would have to ask players probably in the top top two clans that are actually, or top three clans that are actually like going to the end, end of the tournaments. They would probably have a better idea of the meta than me. And I don't even watch comp live streams. Like, I'm out of touch with comp. Uh, I, th I think it could have potential. But personally, I think other tanks should be chosen over the VZ, just because in the comp setting, things tend to be a lot different than your puppy setting. The puppy setting, you can capitalize a lot more on the VZ's abilities. All right. Let's see here. So our allies are being quite aggressive already from the front. TVP getting nuked. There's a Mitarazzo pushing on up this way here, it looks like. Um, R405 is being quite aggressive right off the bat as well. And there's a 57 as well from Optimal. So that 57 is gonna easily clear my poor, poor ally out over there who made a not so intellectual play. Let's try and hat snipe this dude, unfortunately unable to do so. And one potential problem that I foresee forming here is the concept behind us, but also I think our 57 Heavy might need some support here. I'm gonna put myself in a position to support our 57 against the Minotaro and the enemy's 57 Heavy here, uh, cause the Minotaro is just kind of free farming this dude. So, unfortunately for him. Alright, quick shot into the Minarazzo here. Let's pull back. I don't want to bleed yet, because my team are going to be hardcore pushing this side. IS-7. Wow, fluffing that shell there. Good stuff, dude. IS-7. IS-7 um, throwing his whole tank away there when he really didn't have to. Peculiar play by that IS-7 there. And we have no one else in the corner because our whole team rotated back. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Really don't know how I feel about the whole team rotating back like so. Oh, 57's being a piggy. Ha! Ah, we managed to bait a shell into his tracks at least. Okay. So I didn't know if that 57 was gonna poke like that. That probably wasn't the smartest play on my part. I think what we're gonna have to do here is just pull back a little bit. Looks like my allies are not being the most helpful. Enemy concept is also kind of sending it here, so I don't want to get caught in that crossfire at all. And so I'm gonna just kind of back up a, a wee bit from here. Let's put a shell to the concept at least. Make him a one shot for a 57. 57, you can clear him out, right? Never mind, our 57 failed to clear him out. Now it's just the, the, the Karo and the spawn here. We have a 62A being quite aggressive up top. Um, the concept, though, might be giving me a bit of a kill shot here. So I'm going to see if I can capitalize on it. Kill the concept. There we go. All right. What's going on behind us? Prague is trying to defend the rear. Um, our Karo is still in the corner. Our 1 to 1 got taken out just now, unfortunately. 57's on a full reload. What I might have to do now, and this is probably the smartest play for me at the moment is to retake the high ground. So we have a 62A coming on in from behind. Put a quick shot to him there. And then even if we take two shots here, it's gonna be worth it to put my tank in a better position. There we go. Now now I can be hauled down with this Karo up top. And that's what I kind of want to do objectively in this scenario. Let's see if we can deal with the C100 at all. We might be able to deal with the 100 We might not be able to. 
Good stuff. We managed to clear the 100 there. Ah, uh, there's still a TVP on the flank, though. That's that's a huge problem for us. Okay. I'm gonna put a quick shot into the 62A here. Yeah, that's GG. Our Carol did not have to YOLO there. I don't know why our Carol decided YOLOing there was the smartest play. It really wasn't. Ugh. All right, quick ram into this man's ear. Nice. You know what? We're going to be the damage farmers that we know we could be. Get as much damage in before it's GG. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I was the, like one of the only players to pick up kills there. We did probably about 4k, uh, maybe like 35, 35 to 4k. I wasn't really paying attention to the damage counter that game. Um, 38, 60. That's fine. Um, uh, Progetto and Kuro did okay as well. Um, the, the IS-7 throwing his tank away, the 4005 <laughs> throwing his tank away, the 57 throwing his tank away was a bit unfortunate there. Both teams are, were, did about the same actually, just their tanks didn't throw themselves away as quickly. Uh, maybe I made a couple of misplays of that game, but it is what it is. Uh, if Rito's keep me on the grind, man, I'm going for STB from tier 6 with, uh, without boosters and I'm losing my mind in these lower tiers. Ah, oh, Torque, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the STB tech tree is not an easy one to grind out, so um, I do wish you good luck on that. But at least there's lots of game modes and you can grind them in game modes so you don't have to sit there slowly playing pub battles. Hopefully that will help you out a little bit. Nah, VZ isn't the greatest for comp. Armor profile for the level of skill isn't quite good enough in my opinion. I, I really can't say. Once again, I'm not in the current comp scene. HRF, we need Jagdpanzer on a strain. The poor German TD is forgotten. It has one of the worst WNIs in tier, uh, and win rate in top tier, tier 10. Uh, the Jag has a bad win rate? Ah, I did not know that. I don't really care about WN8, I think. Once, you'll always hear me say that WNA is a pretty stupid statistic. It really doesn't mean anything. It puts too much emphasis on pointless statistics and like tries to uh, like account for everything when every tank has like a different set of stats that could account for different win WNA. I, I just feel um, you should ignore WNA, but low win rate is definitely something to be concerned about. That's for sure. The Chiri is interesting though. Oh, oh yeah, Chiri is a lot of fun, dude. That little three shot auto loader. I remember how much fun I had in that tank back in 2015 or whatever it was when I played that tank. Um, enemy type 71 spooted. Unfortunately, unable to hit him there. Now, we don't want to get in a haul down fight with a 2 and 5B. That tank will rip me apart through the turret. But hey, if I can start dealing with tanks like maybe this 183 here. Maybe this type 71. We even might be able to we, we even might be able to counter hatch snipe this dude, although that doesn't look like the case here. And there is a wild bat shot now shooting at me. Can't quite hit him there. So it looks like their team's going through town. Now, here's one thing you always have to be concerned about in a scenario like this. Is their whole team kind of counter pushing through town and your whole team just kind of sitting back in Narnia. Uh, which is a very real threat for my vehicle here. And uh, now I'm getting blocked by my ally trying to get guys, got oh my gosh. I'm trying what are y'all doing? You know what? I don't care. Oh, I'm getting scammed. Okay, these dudes, I think, have no clue what they're trying to accomplish here. RE5 is getting counter yellowed as well. So I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to kind of help them out on this uh, this player here. So let's let's see if we can make that kind of rotation to help our E5 out here. E5 is getting hardcore pressured. Track the 2 and 5 beep. Track them maybe. Nice. Good stuff on the 2 and 5 B there. I'm 5B making a very suspect play, if I say so myself. I'm a bit concerned about some of these TDs. Oh, it's a Type 71. Let's put a quick shot to the Type here. All right. What do I got to defend my spawn? Theoretically, I have a Bat Chat here for support. Um, I just want to see if... No, I don't really have a Bat Chat for support. I do have, however, an E5 that can turn and help me if they counter yellow for me. Counter yellow being my primary concern right now. Um, I can sit Hall down here pretty easily. E5 is coming back. Let's put a quick shell into this Type 71 here and pull all the way back. Okay, well, I'm going to get blocked by my allies here. We should prioritize tanks like this 2 and 5B for sure. Let's track the 2 and 5B for starters. The E5 is also prioritizing the 2 and 5B. 2 and 5B finally using his repair kit here. Um, and I might go down here pretty quickly. No, yeah, I'm definitely going to get taken out here pretty quickly. Because this dude's going to go down in a moment. And once he's down, I don't really have any actual support. Other than maybe this 183 here. So let's put another shot to this type here. There we go. Let's try and keep our E5 alive as long as I physically can. I think I did my best there, all things considered. Uh, 2 and 5B can't really deal with me. Yep, there we go. That dude gets taken out. Sorry, E5. I tried my best to help you there, but 
I was a bit concerned about getting counter yield myself, so I probably wasn't the best support in that scenario. All right, but hey, we did our job. Not the highest damage game, but I'll take it. 514 to the Bash Shot Theon there with an HE shell. Love to see it. Uh, would you like to, would you like to not pull forward into my whole team's line of fire there, buddy? No! What is he doing? <laughs> my damage! We got a W off. Good, jo good job to the E5. Good job to the E5. I think it was the right play to go back and help him. That 2 and 5 b was definitely going to try and pick up the easy kill there on the, on the E5, but I wasn't going to let it happen so easily because if that E5 died and my whole team got stuck on the outside, then we, it might have been a bit more of a stressful game for my teammates there. Uh, but we managed to counterplay them quite well. A dub is a dub. Yep. Stock rat chat gamer. <laughs> is the rat chat actually stock? Hey, yo. Hello. What country is the streamer from? <laughs> Screech Eagle Sounds USA. Woo. <laughs> uh, Ameriki. <laughs> yeah, he's Ameriki. Um, <laughs> there we go. The tier nine has a good um, gun and that's about it. Tier 9's pretty good though, man. I mean, don't sleep on the tier 9. Also, let's reach that 200 like mark while we're at it though, guys. We're at 130 likes and there were 350 viewers. I think we could do it. I think we could. Would help the stream out. All right, here's what we're going to do here. There's a chance that VK72 could be an encounter cap piggy. Now, I'm going to say this and every single time I'm on this map, I'm going to say this because I want as many people to remember this. Like, you can go to encounter cap off the bat. Don't extend past this region. Right? Don't extend past it. You can go there off the bat if you want to get some early shots off, some early spots off. You can see that, okay, they have no one here. What we're going to do from here on out is rotate back to help our team on the hill. Don't push into their spawn. Not a good idea. Pushing into spawn is how you get crossfired out and die. And I see way too many players make that simple mistake. Hello, is that the same E5 from earlier? I can't tell. Anyways, I see way too many people make that mistake and lose the game as a result. So please don't, don't make that silly mistake of pushing past encounter cap. Um, let's see. Is this 140 still around here? Can't quite tell. So this could be a stalemate game for the time being. If you want to cap base, that's also an option. Just once again, don't push into their spawn. Unless there's late game and you very easily can overmatch it. Alright, let's see if there's a TD there. We'll take a bl blind shot real quick and turn our turret back a little bit there. E5, careful. This have your turrets exposed. If they have a TD on the corner there, you really don't want to make that overextension if you can help it. Um... Mr. E5, I'm, I'm not trying to block you here. I'm just trying to keep you safe from getting yeeted by a sniper. It's very much a possibility. So, in this scenario, yeah, very much a stalemate here. Maybe it's better just to take it easy for the time being. I7 is making a huge mistake here. 555 damage is doing there. So, RIP to Mr. I7. Please don't make that poke either. None of my blind shots hit. Oh, interesting. So, they do have a TD and a counter cap. I don't think I really need to go that way, though. I really don't think I am needed on that flank there. We also find the 183's positioning, so interesting. There's the 183. We also see the 140 is back here as well. So I'm going to retake hill for my allies here. 140 making a bit of a break for it here. Put a quick shot onto him now. And if he wants to sit here and take a DPM fight, so be it. Um, he does have a lot of DPM, but I also have a lot of HP here, so... 550 damage to him there. Let's pull back from any other big bad TDs. There we go. There we go. Let's keep an eye out for that Yag's rotation out here. Um, hopefully someone can help me on the hill for now. Come on, someone counter push hill with me, or do I have to sit here and start this 140 for the rest of the game? Looks like for the rest of the game, guys, I am stuck on 140 watching duties. I don't want to, like, burn through HP here. You know, act like I'm rotating out, right? Maybe not. The Leo's going to crossfire. You know what? We'll just play defense, because my whole team wants to sit on counter cap instead of 4005 and VK72. Instead of helping out on the hill. Like, Prog, what are you? Thank you so much, WZ. You're a real one for that. All right, so what do we do now? Prog is quite the player indeed. All right, let's see, is a Leo here? If he is, I can't spot him. I'm a bit concerned about the 183, the Jaeger's positioning, so I'm going to just kind of push up onto the hill here a little bit. Hopefully stay safe. Maybe get some crossfires out on their Yags and stuff. I mean, or on their VK and the 4005. There we go, VK making a huge mistake here, looks like. I guess I'm not farming, but I went more for map control than anything else. And that was my goal was to take away the enemy's control of the hill, which is pretty important in my opinion. I guess I'll just have to farm damage up late game on the Leo, the Yag, and the 183 if I'm lucky. That might have to be the case. Looks like that's going to be the case, guys. Looks like I'm going to be doing late game damage farm here. Oh, yeah, very late game damage farm. What the heck is this Leo doing? All right, HE. Oh, Ooh. 
760 HE damage there. That's what I'm talking about, man. A little Maxwell HE, very saucy. Yag's rotating back around. Um, 183 may still be back here somewhere. The problem is 183 has 950 alpha damage, so I'm like one shot territory for him. The Yag's just gonna bleed all of his HP out over here. Maybe we can bait the 183 a little bit. Ah, see, that's why you don't side scrape in this tank, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you do not side scrape in this tank. As you can see, it's armor is not the best in the hall versus big old TDs that are ready to smack the dim the living daylights out of you. All right, Mr. 183 is pulling forward quite aggressively here. Another shot into him, 490 damage, let's go. 23 also firing there. I don't know which way the Yag's looking. Hopefully not at me. He's not looking at me. 57, don't clear, I believe. Thank you. Nice, we actually managed to recover that game to 3,500 damage. Would you look at that? Oh, I love those HE shells that this tank has, but yeah. You know, not the most interesting VZ game ever. I know, <laughs> it was pretty boring. Another ace, by the way, because no one plays this tank. Um, but I think I did what was important for my team, which once again, was that hill control. That hill control is the important thing. Um, they could all sit there on a counter cap as long as they wanted. And you know what? I will actually commend my teammates. They did not push past, in excuse me, hiccup. They did not push past in counter cap. They actually sat in front of encounter cap and let the enemy push into them. That's that's what you want to do if you're taking that encounter cap engagement. Just sit back, let the TDs help support you, farm them out, that type of good stuff. All right, let's go seaside, guys. Now, this is the bad spawn for this map. Ahoy, it's Mr. Studio Kill. Love from Ireland. I eat. Wait, what? <laughs> it's Mr. Studio Kill. Wait, I don't see it's Mr. Studio Kill. Where is Mr. Studio Kill? <laughs> Um, uh, unless you're saying your name is this Mr. Studio Kill, in which case you're a copycat. You're a fake. No, I'm kidding. Hi from Ireland. But, uh, that reminds me. There is an EU, like, uh, platoon of his royal fatness and it's Mr. Studio Kill on the EU server. And I, I'm, I find it funny that they happen to choose those two particular names. Because if you know, you know. Throwback to my channel from back in the good old days. All right, we have a wild 4202 pushing up over here. Now, the important thing you want to do when you're on this spawn of this map is to push up to the hill as quickly as possible. If you do not take hill control, you are screwed. Straight up. The central hill. I don't really care so much about the medium tank hill. That one's whatever. You need control of the central hill as absolutely. Like the one I'm at right now. You see how most teammates are happy to sit back and do nothing. You don't want to get stuck in that scenario because then you lose all map control and it's GG. Put a quick shot to the Chieftain here. Showing the Chieftain who's the boss of the haul down game player. IS7 is going to sit here as well. Looks like our, looks like they're, um, some of their teammates are kind of just sitting back too. All right, so let's see if this VZ gives me any more shots here. Maybe a shot in his turret, not quite. They have someone in encounter cap that's good to know. But as you can see already, my teammates are pretty much just ripping their team apart. And we just have basic map control. And that's all we need. Basic, basic map control. My team will be chilling. Put a quick shot to the Minotaur's roof. Our IS-7 might get in a bit of a predicament here. I definitely need to keep providing him that haul down support as much as I physically can at the moment. Um, 183 is in the open. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Okay, gun trolled me a little bit there. Not sure he's on encounter, but we do have a 183 and a grill that can rotate out to clear it. So hopefully we don't get capped out. Which that would be super embarrassing for this game. All right, quick shell to the Minerato and... Pretty sure that's a pen angle, but okay. Um... Team, defend the base, maybe. I'm gonna actually focus this dude out. Oh, 390, what a low roll. Uh, 183, defend the base. Okay, bad chat's got it. Okay, cool. Because I'm like, I'm stuck in this haul down position. I throw this haul down positioning, my team's going to be in all sorts of trouble. I, I got to stay here. I got to stay here to prevent their team from yellowing into our team for free. So we just need some, thank you. Someone just needs to reset a little bit. All right. Quick shell into this dude. Yeah, we're chilling. We are chilling. They don't want to, they don't want to smoke. Okay, there we go. 183 even got full health there. That's a W in the chat, ain't it? All right, quick HE shot to clear this man's out here. Super bomb core does hit me. You look APCR, it actually went, it looks like it went into my hatch. It went through the spaced armor and into my hatch. That's actually kind of crazy. Low key, kind of crazy. All right. Oh, I wasn't so lucky. Boo hoo. Although it's already GG, to be fair. I was just playing hold down support, but uh, since it's already a GG at this point, may as well put another shot into this man's here. Yes, that's right, Super Bunker. Push all the way over. Be a man. <laughs> be the man I knew you you could be. That's right, good sir. Give me that damage. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, you saved my game. Uh, HRF Ace Machine. I wish I could feel accomplished. Some of the aces were deserved, but like, come on. This is just a very, very somewhat below average 3,500 damage game uh, for me. And it definitely should not be an ace in any tier 10 heavy tank at all. But that's the VZ for you. So we're making easy credits right now. If you're any decent at the game and you need credits, go play a VZ. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, no meds at hill is basically a loss on Port Bay. Not necessarily. I've actually won a lot of games without any uh, corner control there. Kind of grinding, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, but teaches that patience is something, uh, sometimes the key. Uh, yeah, patience is really important in this game, but also knowing when to not be patient and when to make a counter push is just as important. And it's really hard to hit the balance between those two traits of holding back, preserving your HP and waiting for the enemy and making a pressure play onto the enemy because you don't think it's viable to hold back any longer. Like that, that balance is something that quite hard to hit. Miss the hair man. I, you know what? I do too. I'm growing it back. Oh, Bobby is finally leaving my lap. Bobby was tired after her one hour nap on my lap and me constantly twitching around and yelling into what's next to her ear, basically, into a microphone. So she has abandoned me. Okay. Let's see. We have a lot of meds going left. There's no one spotted going left. Odds are their team is all going top side. That's why I cut left here instead of committing to encounter cap. Counter cap's cool, but man, you get stuck there, it hurts sometimes. Alright, oh snap, that's an E4. That's a tank I really don't want to deal with if I can help it. Although we can APCR his engine deck there, so let's go for it. 50B unfortunately getting a little bit elbowed by the E4 there. We will have to watch out for crossfires. And Wow, they actually have quite a few players on the flank here, don't they? Interesting. E4 is backing up pretty hardcore here. It's going another shell to him for 90. Nah, buddy, watch out. There's a 57 behind us. I'd really be careful, 50B, if I were you. All right, so our 50B making some rather unorthodox plays here. And Wow, okay, what the heck? Okay, so now their whole team has popped up over here. Allies, you can clear that side, right? Just trying to prevent our 50B from getting yeeted, but... He's gonna get yeeted all the same. Nothing I can do to sit stop that. Um... What's also important is dealing with Mr. Bash off the yawn. We do manage to angle our tracks up here for one ricochet. 545 into him there. Let's angle up a little bit more here. We might get penned for this one. He's going to have a lot of time to aim it, and we do. Um, and now we're going to have to deal with a crazy counter yellow by a Gorilla 15 and his allies here. So let's put another shell to this dude. Nice little ricochet, and unfortunately, the E4 has now flanked me. So this is going to be our first bad game, that's for sure. I think we did what we could, though. I think I think we, we, we definitely did what we could here. Um, all things considered. Alright, E4, I don't know. Oh, 50 sounds gonna kill me. Okay, so the problem here is that these dudes could not kill an STB and a 263 on the flank. Well, basically me and the 50, 50B and we're holding off the rest of their team. So, first kind of eh game in the VZ of the stream. I don't really think there was a whole lot I could do there though. Unless I YOLO'd hardcore med side, but like... How did our 263 get all the way into our spawn ditch with like all of these tanks shooting at him? At least four tanks shooting at him, and it took them so long to kill him. Clear him. Nice. <laughs> Watch the double TD clutch. The double TD clutch, I believe. Never mind, I do not believe. And the 183 is dead. Sad. GG. <laughs> Hello, Fatness. Hello, random. My issue with this tank is it's so average. Other tanks can do the same, just I don't find it interesting to play. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's extremely average. I mean, in my opinion, uh, it has a very good gun. Like, even in that very short steamroll game where I really wasn't able to accomplish all that much. Um, well, 57 did one shot. Our 50B did one shot. Our STB somehow did two shots and died, even though he didn't even leave spawn, really. And Bad Chat died, too. My goodness, man. Their team wasn't even good. Their, our team was just so much bad. Hi, peace. Privet, bro. How are you? Ah. I'm going to have so Hi, peace. Privet, privet. Ah, cockty. The issue with this tank is... It's so... Okay, I already read that. Is V6 better VZ? Uh... VZ... E6... I wouldn't compare them. Personally, I wouldn't compare them. And man, I, I could have sworn, Endman, you had a blue YouTube profile pick. Why... Yeah, it was blue. Why is it purple now? Oh, it's Endman 1. 
So we have and oh wait, no, and man one. Wait, there's two different and and mans. And man, do you have? Do you <laughs> is this a different ant man? Why do I see two? One that's a channel member and one that's not. I need answers. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Probably gonna go med side. Yeah, they have a 907 proc, T100, Type 71. Uh, the NA server in a nutshell, basically. <laughs> VZ just feels like a little bit too slow. Um, it's not a super speedy heavy, but I don't. I wouldn't think it has terrible maneuverability. Like it, it feels. Okay, maybe compared to an IS-7 isn't the best comparison, but it, it feels like it can get up up to speed enough to get to battles at least, at least as efficiently as a T-125 for the most part. Maybe, maybe a T-125 is a little faster, but then again, I don't know. I, I think the VZ is fine as it is. I just think people haven't really given it an, a fair enough chance to really perform. And of course, the type hits that on the move because, you know, that 420 alpha damage type is really all that great. All right, <laughs> let's put a shout out to this dude. Gun handling wise, the type should not be able to hit those shots, but uh, you know how it is. Although, I'm thinking more from a mobile player's perspective. Maybe on PC it'd be a little easier to hit that shot. Alrighty. So. Alright, you know what? Let's see if we can nuke this 268 out of existence here. Wow, he, he died. He, he already died. Uh, we have not special one over here going for a little flanky flank. That's, that's pretty cute in a 907 here. Um, not really sure what he's gonna do down there, but you know what? Let's counter push him with this bash off the on. So this dude's gonna pull around the corner, 480 damage to him there. Nice. That puts me at 900 damage so far. Batch, I should have a clean clear on this dude. Gonna uh, pray for his escape. We did hit it. Unfortunately, we did not pen it, but we did hit it. <laughs> Um, M60 is probably going to get counter pushed once this dude goes on the flank here. So I'm going to actually pull up and help our M60 out directly. Come on, M60. Going to get counter pushed yet, buddy? There we go. Now I can counter push the top side here a little bit too. We can use this T1LT as hard, hard cover. Um, this type is not having the best experience here. Although he's still just trying to focus me, which is kind of cute. <laughs> I, uh, type, there are other tanks for you to be shooting right now that are a lot less difficult to pen. <laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying there, brother, just saying. All right, time to counter push. Steamroll, I'll take it, though. W is a W. Maybe we can get 3k out if we get a nice little max roll uh, into someone around this corner here, maybe, right? There's a progs here. Is that the progs booty? I think it is. Oh, it is. It very much is. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ah! Oh, please. Oh, please. Back of the turret. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, their whole team was like suck and spawn. Oh, that's 3,500 damage out. Oh, RD Blitz be uh, unfortunate. Hopefully they don't do RD and Blitz. That would be a yikes. Uh, absolutely love the gun. Never misses a shot. Yeah, unless you get a little scammed in RNG, which happens occasionally, but the gun's definitely good. You know what? Well played, Batchat. Looked like you had fun mobbing around on the flank there. Um... RB, V4, and Mouse didn't really do all that much there, but you know what? We did our job. A little rotation around. Let's try and get at least like one more good game in the VZ here. Um, yes, and everyone will be... <laughs> what? It's a slaughter... Wait, what's a slaughterhouse? <laughs> IS-7 is more user-friendly, but Gun on VZ is pretty decent. Uh, if you're more patient, I'd say go with VZ-55. Otherwise, go with the IS-7. Um... I mean, here's the thing. You cannot go wrong with an IS-7. You still cannot go wrong with an IS-7. I think that a lot of people will still struggle. Actually, a lot of people do struggle in the VZ because, <clears throat> because of its, you know, significantly large weak spots in its armor profile, right? It's not a 3k DPM heavy. It's not the perfectly armored heavy, and it's not the fastest heavy, but what it does have is probably one of the nicest kind of 128 millimeter heavy tank guns in the game. I don't really think there's any heavy that has above 450 and less than 600 alpha damage that has a, a better gun than this, um, in, in tier 10 at least. So it, it really depends on what you're looking for. You're looking for a strong gun, or you're looking for something else in your vehicle. And uh, 183, do you want to help? A, you want to help a buddy out over here, or? You, the 121 just did he get racked? Did the 121 get racked? Okay, I don't really know what this type's doing here. We do master jam his turret at least. Once 183, you could literally be gaming on this dude for free. He is so overextended here. Oh boy, that's another VZ. 500 damage to him. 183, please help help me out here a little bit there, buddy. Nice, there we go. Oh well, not so nice. He ricocheted, but still, thanks for the help all the same. 
I just need him to kind of take the attention of the type off of me or the VZ off of me, right? I can 1v1 the type. I can 1v1 the VZ. I cannot quite 1v1 the uh, two versus one here. Okay. The VZ is sending it for me. Let's see. Might try and not block the 183 shot. The 183 somehow still messing up this shell here. I'm doing everything I can, man. 183, you are truly the worst support. How have you missed two times in a row? Oh my goodness, 183. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you missed the whole side of the VZ, which I left wide open for you to shoot. You missed the Type 71 point blank. When you... <laughs> These two dudes... Oh my gosh, man. Of course, this is the type of allied support I have. And our yo is wandering around on the enemy's hill. We could still win this, but like straight up, terrible TD support. 183 is in Narnia. Uh, and the 4005 went A side. Let's exit. So we don't have to watch these dudes. I personally think it's still really, really important on Castilla to have someone control the cap, like the, the middle hill there. I mean, there's no way their type should have been able to make that YOLO right off the bat and get away from with his scot free. And I was the only one that hit damage onto him. Um, but yeah, that wasn't a VZ's fault. I mean, it's one versus three. Technically one versus four for a period there because I also had to kill the KPZ that was shooting at me. So one versus four there with a 183 that was missing all of his shots for support. You're not going to live very long in almost any heavy tank there, except for maybe a super heavy. Speaking of uh, tanks that aren't played very often, WZ Light is the least played tier 10 after the CS. Big shocker. Um, let's see. Welcome, Go Googles, for becoming a member of the channel. Do you appreciate that? <laughs> That's why I hate teammates. Yeah, I thought the 183's presence there would be enough to prevent the YOLO. I was sorely mistaken. I'm not done yet. I'll probably play for a little bit longer. Let me just think about what I'm going to take for a spin. I think, oh yeah, I should do, oh gosh, terrible camo on the prog. Do, do I have a better camo for the prog? Please tell me I have a better camo on the prog. Thank you. This looks so much nicer. Um, the prog needs a stream. The prog legitimately needs a stream. I think Wargaming's rebalance to the Progetto was so good. You know, initially, I didn't really like the idea of what they were doing to it. Um, but now it feels pretty pretty darn nice. I, I do like the shorter reload now on the third shell instead of the first shell. And so now you have to be a little bit more calculated with your magazine in the tank. And its gun handling feels really solid now. I, I think they buffed its gun handling too. Maybe I've nerfed the turret armor a little bit. But like, let's be honest, how much were you relying on your prox turret armor? Uh, so let's get the prog a little bit of love. <clears throat> Well, we wait for my team to lose that Castilla game. And yes, I'm fairly certain they're going to lose that because um, our 4005 was making very silly positioning there. Uh, and let's see if we can cook up in the prog for a battle here. I definitely want to stream the prog sometime though. Great tank. Oh my gosh, Tricky48 with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, uh, Tricky, for gifting five memberships. And Ethan, IP man, uh, you guys were both gifted a membership. So congratulations on that. All right, wait, let me pay attention. And as well as Ant-Man, like, the different Ant-Man. The, the, the other Ant-Man was gifted a membership here. All right, here is a grill. Let's put a quick shell into him there. Our patent's still on haul down here. Um, there is also an STB being quite aggro. Quick shell into this grill. Let's bring him down to an almost one shot here. So hopefully he can get cleared out by my allies here soon enough. There's the Yag as well. We know where the TDs are, so that's the great news. All right, let's put a cash onto the STB. I think the Prague has just a very nice magazine in general. I'm going to start pushing up a little bit for this dude here. He's going to try pushing in, maybe. Put a track shot into him. Patton, you got the clear, right? Patton, you got the clear, right? Apparently, the Patton's just going to ignore the STB. Okay, that's that's cool. Is he going to yoink the kill for me? No, no kill for you, Patton. Bad Patton. Bad Patton. You didn't give me support. Boo. <laughs> and uh, also, we have XKDKW. Not sure how to pronounce your name. Thank you. You just became a member as well. Do appreciate the support. Our Fosh looks like he could use some help over here. So let's uh, let's see if we can give the Fosh anyone under some assistance. These dudes look like they're in a little bit of trouble here. There's a T1LT also flanking them. Quick shot into this man's here. And that Fosh clears him out. Good stuff. Enemy prog and spawn. It looks like the VK anyone or the last tanks over here. So I could probably just get rid of the counter push this, to be honest. Um, is that prog going to make a break for it? He might. He might make a break for it. Let's see if we can pre-aim a shell into him here. One, two, three, I think now. There we go. We do manage to get a shell into him there. And it looks like, actually, maybe I shouldn't take on their heavy tanks right away. We did hit the prog blind, I think. Yeah, let's let's ignore the heavies for the time being here. Start dealing with the prog a little bit. Okay, RNG says no. The prog's gun is still a little bit troll. Let me wait till I reload the full mag here. 
quick shot onto this man's. But the upper plate is still pretty heavily armored. That's the nice thing about the prog is it has a fairly troll upper plate. Especially if you run armor. This is one of those tanks that I actually would recommend running enhanced armor on. The upper plate will give you those nice little ricochets if you do. Alright. So let's see what we can do about this game here. We have VK in the open. We have E-Wonder looking my way. Um, E-Wonder is now going to look the other way. So let's begin to start dealing with this VK here. It's aim for the fuel tanks. So maybe we're going to push all the way across there. 438 max. So I'm just going to dump the full mag here. There we go. 340 damage into the E-Wonder there as well. Um, hopefully my allies can take care of 57 shot of the 100. So let's just kind of push the VK. I think I'm only going to be able to get like one more shot into this VK. So let's go for it. Well, we'll get two more shots technically. There we go. One more shot. 4k damage. Easy, easy prog stuff. Gotta enjoy that prog. I ha I now have two memberships. Let's go, Endman. You now have two memberships. <laughs> Endman 1 and... You should have named it Endman 1 and Endman 2. Because they're both Endman 1 and it's confusing. And now you both have members. <laughs> Unless that really isn't you. Okay, so that's 4,300 damage there. I didn't feel like it did much. But, you know, that's that's the prog for you. Prog's a pretty solid all loader. Farms up that damage. Okay, my allies lost that. I did 2,100 damage. Probably did more than most of my team there. Still did top 3 damage. Because my... My 1A3 did zero, and STB did 1400, and 405 that could have been covering me and farming the living daylights out of their team did 1700 on that side. And the Yope didn't even out damage me, even though he was full HP when I left the game. Um, wow, that's that's very that's very cool. Let's try and give the VZ a better game. We gotta have at least one decent game for the VZ, right? Right? We can't, we can't, we can't leave it on the loss. Let's just, just be sad. I get more bounces on a 1A3 than a TNF5, it seems. Well, the 1A3 do get an armor buff. If you run armor, a 1A3 can ricochet your uh, upper plate. Uh, yeah, it can. That's why it's kind of memes, dude. Would I use the same for both? Because Ant Man has those double monitors and double keyboard setup. He's like going ham right now, you know? He's going ham on them double keyboards. Man, Blitz is so bad right now. It's really not as bad as it was a few, like, half a year ago. I think it was a lot worse during the autoloader meta. It's not. It's by no means perfect, but I'm I'm kind of just neutral about it right now. Definitely missed the golden days of 2016 and 2017 Blitz. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Those were the days. Oh, we have a conf, as a Project Conf Panzer 07 PE, which appears to be a tier 9 collector premium tank. How oh, cool. All right, 500 damage into the grill right off the bat. This is a win. Their team is already throwing. Their heavy is going to pop around on our flank probably. But they have an IS-8 flanking for some unbeknownst reason. Not really sure why. I don't think I can spot him because he's behind the rock right now. That IS-8 is flanking, right? Yeah, there he is. Wow, I got scammed. I done got myself scammed against the IS-8 boys. I don't know what the IS-8 is doing back there. Uh, but that, this is basically GG. They have three TDs in spawn. They have heavies pushing in counter cap. They have no map control, no vision. <laughs> we just have to play defense from back here and it's GG, dude. All right. VZ gun goes burr. We pick up a little kill shot there. Standard bees yellowing our spawn. I, I, I tell them once, I'll tell them again. Never push past in counter cap, you silly, you silly willies. What are you doing? You're throwing your lives away for nothing. Your allies can't cover you. Where are your TD? Okay, the Kron rotated back at least. Oh my gosh. Bobby is actually burrowing right now like a little little rat. <laughs> Bobby, you silly little creature. All right, we have the standard B over here. Put a quick shot to him. Good stuff indeed. Um, standard B trying to make a bit of an escape here. Also, there's a Gorilla 15 looking at me. He doesn't manage to escape, unfortunately. Now we can push past Encounter because we know where their TDs are and where they are is nowhere, basically. I7 ricochets me. Let's ram him, make him an APCR one shot. Also, I just want to show you Bobby right now. He's like trying to figure out how to burrow under my blanket. It's really cute. Look at her. She's trying to figure out how to get under the comforter right now. She has no clue what she's doing. Yeah, you, you know it's an easy W game when I'm busy, like, turning my camera around to show to show the stream my cat. <laughs> Definitely not going to be a high damage game, that's for sure. Maybe fuel tanks? Oh! Yes! Oh, here's the max roll HE! How saucy is that, my dudes? How saucy is that? Here, you get the ram kill as well. How saucy was that? Oh my... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No! No, mind damage! Mind damage! My damage is gone. I should have just pulled forward. I probably would have gotten free shots onto this dude if I had done that. How silly of me. The whole Reese face hugging now. <laughs> oh, Bobby, you silly little creature. 
Yo, who rebounces those? I respect it. Okay. What you doing, Bobby? What, what, what the bobber's doing? The bobber's just like, I'm gonna go sleep over here. Yeah. That's right, bobber's. You sleep there. You curl, you, you, you curl up. Ah, <laughs> uh, 3,000 damage, man. This wasn't a very good game. Steamroll game. That was a win. Uh, as I anticipated, their team was not good. But uh, at least we got the AT Maxwell on the grill. That was satisfying. Okay, you know what? I'm happy. We got the win in the VZ. I'm not gonna push my luck, knowing how teams tend to turn a 180 instantly. Um... Uh, Let's end this off in the classic manner, 183 game. At least one, like, decent headshot, right? That was a spice sauce. Yeah, dude, how many Maxwell HEs have I got in the stream with the, with the VZ today? Like, three or four? At least, like, three, right? I think we've got at least three 600 and... Or 763 damage roll, HE rolls, and maybe even up to four. I don't quite remember. We got a lot. Tanks HE slaps, man. Did Bobby steal her catnip? I out of mind trying to dig in your mattress. No, that's just Bobby things. That's just how she is when she's not on catnip. VZ55 is straight trash. Mm, everyone is entitled to their opinion. That doesn't mean their opinion is correct, but they are entitled to it. Calling the VZ trash is basically just screaming, I don't know how to play the tank. That's all. That's all. It just screams that I am not good in this tank because I don't have the skill to play it properly. There are very few actual trash to your tanks. You might consider some, like maybe a Fosh or 263 can be considered pretty much trash. Even then, I think that they're not complete garbage. They're just very, a, a little bit underwhelming in the current meta. Um... But as far as, you know, as far as I'm concerned, every 70 percenter actual 4K non-reroll player that I am familiar with in Rain talks about how good the tank is. So if, if you're out there just saying it's trash, then I think that's, I think that's less indicative of the tank and more indicative of the player, personally. Also, oh, please, please do it. I accidentally took a shot for the fifth, the yo who was spotted, even though I wasn't, but it was worth. That's the ghetto, that's the ghetto rat that's been like <laughs> molded at me this whole time. And I just elbowed the living daylights out of him, which is a huge W for me. Oh, thought the yak. Yeah, oh, why did I wait an extra second? I thought he was still backing up there. All right, mission accomplished. We managed to hash um, this WZ through the lower plate, so I'm satisfied. Um, I also see other opportunities potentially unfolding here in a moment. I'd really like to capitalize on like a 57 heavy. Wow. Oh, that was rat, man. The whole side of his turret, too. What is our yo doing, man? Our yo is making some rather suspicious plays here. I'm not even in a position to support him properly. Oops. Yo, what are you doing in the enemy spawn? Buddy, what are you doing? What is you doing, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is our 60 TP trying to die? There we go. 1200 hash into this man's ear. Nice. And now I can um, try and help our, our yo out here. Yo, just pen two shots on him and I can clear him with an HE shell here. But I need you to do your job there, buddy. Well, never mind. He didn't do his job. All right, the 57 will never expect me to be coming from the side, I think. I think he's going to back up at all. He might. Let's see if he backs up. Okay, there's a Sheridan. Technically, two versus one right now. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this right at the moment. That I'm happy about. Reaction time was on my side because he didn't have the gun depression. What I'm not happy about is this 57 yellowing in here in the Sheridan that's probably going to rotate back to clear me out. That's probably what's going to happen here. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Yep, the Sheridan's already rotating back for me. That's a, that's a GG for me, ladies and gentlemen. That is a GG for me. Now, maybe I can bait the Sheridan here. Maybe I can just barely bait him. That depends on which way he comes from. Oh, of course, he's just going to stay on the inside of town. I could have actually pulled forward more. 4202 and 268. Uh, making some questionable plays right now. They should have enough HP to win this. But the problem is they, they've had the spawn sniping piggy in the Sheridan all game. That's full HP still. 
And I don't I don't trust our four turrets here in 268 right now. Yeah, we, we, we hit our Hesh shells. I'm satisfied. We hit our Hesh shells. I'm just mostly happy about the Hesh on the WZ because that was kind of memes. Um, gosh. Why? Yeah, I have really haven't played the Yag in a while, too. Wouldn't it be nice if the Yag had reticle calibration? No, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I got 100 matches. Average damage 2.9k and 61 win rate. Uh, VZ has way <laughs> too many weeks points and reverse speed sucks okay okay <laughs> can you tolerate a session playing with the annihilator and bully tier six? Oh heck no oh heck no i ain't I, I, what do, you, do i look like a seal clubber do i look like a seal clubber to you smasher can work out also xd well smasher can I hate 268. Thumbs up the WZ. Uh, I should thumbs up the WZ. I should get a thanks for the damage, buddy. Mm -hmm. I think I did okay in that game. I probably should have killed the 183 off sooner. The problem was my allies were just kind of throwing their tanks away. And, um, oh wow, we really don't have anyone spotting med side. It's okay, they're all heavies. I should go town. What am I doing going medium side? I should have been going town right off the bat. How silly of me. Uh, their team is not does not have a lineup that speaks going right side i should stop reading chat and pay attention to my game a little more that might be a little helpful all right i don't know i don't want to cross up top i'll probably have to drop into the water oh actually no maybe they're all going town this will work out in my favor but show them the big bad chad yag yeah maybe we'll get a good game of the yeager the 183 game was fine but yeah it wasn't really fun except for the wz hash the wz hash was lit uh, the 405 is throwing his tank away already. How peculiar of him. Okay, so. I wonder if we could ammo rack this dude if he pulls up all the way. That would be funny. Our 752 is in a bit of a bit of a poor position right now. Ooh, he hits those. Good shot. I don't want to block our yo though. So I'm gonna give our yo some space here. Okay, probably not a good idea to sit on this corner here. Try and deal with all these dudes haul down. Um, this VK90 though, seems like he's he's having fun bullying our, our allies, which I don't know how I feel about. I'm gonna sit here and wait for the 405 to maybe make a misplay here. Because right, our Yo is clearly distracted. I just need that 405 to make a misplay. <laughs> this, is a, this is more of a stalemate than I had anticipated. Okay, the tortoise pushed up. I'm gonna help kill the tortoise. May as well. 45 is poking now. No, what timing was that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Of course he turns his turret flat to me, right? As I go to shoot at him, because he was trying to aim there. <laughs> he was he wasn't even like angling all that intelligently there. Yo, good stuff, Mr. VK90. There we go. VK90 is cleared. Good stuff. Now what do we do now? I think we push across for the tortoise. Hello, Mr. Tortoise! Ugh. There you go. Let's angle up a little bit here. Tortoise should struggle to bend me a little bit, I think. He might be able to APC our superstructure, actually. He does. Wow, I'm impressed. But also, Mr. Tortoise, you are very dead, so I don't know how I feel about this. Alright. Man, I didn't I haven't had I haven't had a goaded Yag game yet. I don't know how I feel about this, man. This isn't the goaded Yag game I was promised. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. The 777's seven, seven, seven being a little rat. Oh my. Rat. Ratatimus Prime. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to hold this corner for now. <laughs> I got 41 seconds till my tungsten's back. I promise I'll help you then. Okay. 796. We can we can hold here, brothers. Have faith. Have faith in our abilities combined. Okay, the Minerato is about to delete this man's. You know what? The 77 Oh, Minerato. Oh, he's on reserve shell. You know what? I'll help you out. I'll just clear him out. May as well. Uh, I wanted to uh, farm the other dude, but looks like the Minerato is on a damage mission. I respect it, honestly. Alright. Is the 777 going to get farmed out? Let's see. Wait, where is it going? Yo, blood is... Uh... Throwing? He just lost 11, almost 1200 HP to a yo. I'm impressed by that. 
I guess there really is no need for me to load up on the tungsten shells here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that wasn't a very fun game. Only 3k damage. The most mid game ever. Are you sure, HF? It's pure suffering, lol. Is it? The axe fine. The axe fine. What do you mean? Why, how is 3k and ace? Wait, how is 3k and ace? Like, I didn't play that game very well. That's that's my fault, not the tanks. Oh, we won. Let's go. 3700 damage. <gasps> oh, he's so mad. Yo, yo, where, where is he? Oh, he's at the bottom. There he is. Thank you for the damage. Thank you. I appreciate your participation to the HRF damage fund. Um, Memes. All right, guys. One last game. You pick. Y'all pick. So we can hit that two hour mark. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, I played for an hour and a half. His world new. This makes every tank look fun and good for real. <laughs> Well, Nimbus, hey yo, I'll have you know, I've been playing this game since like late 2014, early 2015. I don't even remember when I started. It was a long time ago though. I gotta be that much of a noob. I gotta be that much of a noob. Come on. <laughs> but it's not just me that says the VZ is good. A lot of other good players that I trust, their opinions, right? They're at a very high level of gameplay. Also all agree that the VZ is a very good tank. It's not just me making this opinion. It's actual like good, good players that also agree with this take. And I think the VZ slept on personally as well. IS-76, 120, 50M, Carol 45T, Leo E6. Two people asked for the E6 already. 113, IS-7, Smasher, Leo. One person's asking for the Leo, so I'll only count that as one vote. Um, did the chat freeze? No one else is voting, because if that's the case, only two people asked for the E6, and that's, that's the most requested tank. Is that what we want? Is that what we want? We want the E6? Alright, alright. We can go with the E6. We can go with the E6. <laughs> Vindicator. Ayo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have two. Oh, three have now asked for the Leo. The Leo has taken the lead. The Leo has taken the lead. Are there any contenders for the Leo 1's position into be in terms of being placed? Leo 1 going once. Leo 1 going twice. It looks like the Leo 1 has won this poll. Okay, we're going for Leo 1. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Leo had the most votes. Leo it is, boys and, and ladies and whatever else. <laughs> Bro, straight out yapping. Hey, yo. Buddy is, uh, Buddy's getting a little yappy and chat himself, I would say. Oh, oh, the E6 got so many last minute votes, though. But so is the Leo. The Leo takes the W. The Leo takes the W. Looking through the chat, Leo takes the W here. Oh, oh, the Leo gets the clear W. <laughs> I guess I'm playing the Leo. We're gonna play the Leo. We're good. We, we, we have chosen the Leo together, collectively. I love democracy. Clip that. <laughs> boo, Leo. What do you mean, boo, Leo? Hey, yo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Let's take Leo for a spin. I actually have not played a Leo all that much recently. Don't matter. I was going to slaughter those lambs. Slaughter the lambs. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Slaughter some piggies is more like it. Turn them into bacon. <laughs> Watch me get amaracked right off the bat of the game or get absolutely wrecked. Had the worst game ever and then I turned into the bacon. That, that would be very ironic and funny at the same time. Who knows? It's a possibility. It very much could happen because I don't like the spawn as much. I feel the spawn's a little bit worse right on this side of the map. Oh, how peculiar is that? Okay, well, there's 57 heavy. Okay, the Vickers didn't spot me yet. Let's pick which onto the Vickers. Boom. Good early damage onto Mr. Vickers over here. Oh, see, this is where, um, this is where... This is where losing that extra degree of gun depression to Leo actually is kind of painful. Alright, Leo DPMs, take it away. Leo DPM, take it away. Leo DPM, take it away. Leo DPM. You hear me? Take it away. Oh, brother, I couldn't get the track shot off. I suck. Hello, 907. <laughs> Leo's god is so... So S tier. Straight up fire. Badger, Type 71, and one other tank are... Okay, so the Badger's in the mid. The Type 71's over here. 
Loki the Badger kind of be by himself right now. I mean, he does have a Type 71 for support, but like, that's about it, man. That's, that's straight up about it. I think what I'm going to do for now is help my Jaegeru clear out this Type 71. That's going to be a little bit more valuable to me at the moment here, so. Hello, Mr. Type 71. Say hello to 3,900 damage per minute. Hope you enjoy the experience. Uh, 907. Lost way too many hit points there, man. What are you doing there, buddy? 302. 302. Let's make the Badger one shot while we're at it. I'm trying not to bleed too much right now if I can help it. Nice. Type 71 should still be on reload here for a few more seconds here. Oh, wow. That type armor is, go is, is cracked. Ah, buddy! You did not just ignore that Jagdpanzer with full side shots on you. I, I, I refuse to believe he would just ignore that Jagdpanzer. What the heck? How's the waffle have shots on me? That's very uncool. That's very uncool, Mr. Waffenträger. Track. Okay, he picks up the clear, but I should also be able to clear this dude out pretty easily here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Clear. Nice, clear. I still have a 268 for support somewhat. Come on, 268. Time to move. It's time to move there, buddy. 4,300 damage dealt so far. I think my rotation back there was fine, to be honest. Looks like the waffle rotated up. There's no way it would have hit me from down low. So... Here's what I'm going to do. We'll take it easy. I want to win this game. Waffle's low HP, Nano Sun's low HP. I just need to kind of stay alive, though. That's the important factor that we're, we need to consider. All right. Let's go, Mr. 268. Time to make a play. Oh, we found the waffle. We done found the waffle. We done found the waffle and the 907. Come on, 268. You need to do something. You need to do something. Oh, 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 oh. They both missed. They both missed. They both missed. My driver's dead, though. My driver is dead. My driver's dead. My driver's dead. 268, do something! Kill him! <laughs> 268, you... You absolute piggy! What is this? How are you... How are you missing the waffle point play? Oh, now you're blocking all of my kill shots. I am amazed this 268 is trying his hardest to throw here. Wow! Wow! Oh, the 907 died. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Two six eight. Why you gotta? Why you gotta make it so hard? <laughs> Did you see me debate the waffle 907 on that rock? <laughs> Surely that's an ace. No way, really. I was frontline the whole time. I deserved an ace that game. I mean, he did okay in the end, but oh hell, oh, 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 oh. Leo armor to mouse armor. How much did I block that game? It says I assisted uh, 2200. Does it give me? Oh, it blocks 320. The one shot I blocked was from the 907. Thank heavens. Now, we, I guarantee we would have lost that if I had not stayed alive that little second longer there. Holy smokes, man. I think uh, we got our 5k damage. We, we had a good time in the Leo. We did. That's bad for your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that you say it was on the enemy team, dude. Got sweaty and didn't even play. I know, right? Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hi, 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 I'm not really trying to pronounce your name. Thanks for playing, everyone. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for dropping by today's stream and all the um, all the Chad new members and everyone who donated a member, gifted a membership, and uh, the donations from earlier. And, um, Thank you for the for the likes and stuff, as always. It was great to have you. So, final verdict. I think the VZ-55 is a very, very good tank. And I think it's very underrated. I don't think it's, like, in the top of the Tier 10 Heavy tanks, or just kind of in general. But it has a really good gun. It has a usable armor profile, profile usable mobility, usable gun depression. And if you know how to, if you know the nuances of the vehicle and how to position it and how to kind of maximize its play style, I think a lot of players would be surprised with how, how great the tank actually can be. So maybe consider giving it a try. Unlike collector tanks, this one is free. You don't have to pay to get it. You can grind it out in game modes. It won't cost you a thing. Oh, <laughs> naughty. Naughty with the 50 
gifted subs. All right, Naughty, thank you very much for the 50 members. Haxi, you finally got a member. Let's go. Woo. Aren't you happy you came back to chat? A little, a little better late than never. If Rose talk about the reason like his girlfriend? Uh, no. If I was talking about the MX-30B, then that would be talking like my girlfriend. I'd be, I, I gush over that tank. Don't get me started on the 30B. I'm just very fair with almost every single vehicle I, I play in terms of trying to um, mention what's good and bad about the vehicle, right? And what makes the tank actually pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> the donation link is so tiny because it's like that because my webcam zoomed in. Boom. That's what it should look like, right? Uh, I guess I got to stay on a little longer. Uh, since Naughty gifted all these members. Huge, huge W. W for Naughty in the chat. W for Naughty in the chat. Okay. You know what, Naughty? Since you were very, very courteous, um, the, the least I could do is have you recommend a tank for me to play once. So... Let's do it, Naughty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Give me a tank, Naughty. Send it away. Send it away. I will uh, I will play a game in it um, because I'd feel bad dipping right after you just gifted 50 members to the channel. Thank you, by the way. And also, if you did receive a membership from Naughty, do uh, send your thanks in the chat. Oh, Jack was gifted a membership, too. Look, they just keep coming. Artyom. <laughs> Wish you a very nice week. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. I'll probably just stay on until uh, Naughty responds. Uh, and maybe if Naughty wants me to play a game or something, I'll do it. If not, it's fine. You can play E6 while we wait. <laughs> Y'all try to sneak that E6 in. I don't want to hear it. 114 SPT. You got it. Thank you, Naughty. Thank you. As always, really do appreciate the support on the channel. Uh, let's take this <laughs> number one vehicle for a spin. Just for pain if you have it. Well, my press account has it. So for pain, we shall do it. For pain, we shall do it. I don't think it's that bad. It's like 100% not my type of tank. <laughs> Naughty cross. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> why is Bobby named Bobby? Because it's cute. That's why. <laughs> That's why she's named Bobby. Also, the delay be funny for me? Yeah, it's like maybe 20... Yeah, 15. It's usually like 10 to 25 seconds, depending. The delay is just YouTube latency. It's not actually, um, it's not actually that I set up a delay. I don't have, oh God, gosh, God. It's not that I have any delay set up on my stream. It's just naturally when you're sending the packets from OBS on my side to the YouTube studio and then having that broadcasted, there's always going to be some degree of delay. It's hard to get it really low. Um, time to spam emojis. Also the delay, <laughs> Naughty the Rockstar. I know, right? All right, guys, let's have a good old time in this piece of junk. I mean, uh, fantastic vehicle that Naughty so graciously asked me to play. Thank you, Naughty. Um, it looks cool, that's for sure. Although the only thing I don't like about it is like this wonky looking satellite dish it has on the side. That makes no sense to me. Woo! All right, in that 670 damage right off the bat, showing the enemy team what's good. Um, Fosh getting quite aggressive here. Sorry, I didn't mean to block you, x -Sime. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to push left or not. Um, it was a little bit uncertain. I have a Yag for Crossfires here, if that does end up being the case. And, oh, that was just a terrible shot. That was just a terrible shot. Uh, Fosh, you can do that all you want, but watch out. There's a big bag Yag in the vicinity here, buddy. I really don't know if that's a great idea, Mr. Fosh. Mr. Fosh is like, nope, that was not a great idea. Anyways, uh, E100 lower plate. Gosh, this aim time. 675, let's go. All right. Unfortunately, that was some bot gameplay. I should have just shot heat at the Fosh there. I should have known you. that was just a bad shot on him, but I should have been able to pick up a clean kill shot on that Fosh there. Um, we also have a Wild Chief to Mark 6 sending it in, so let's put another shell to him. You know, I literally could be doing this in any other 155mm like heavy tank or TD and be having just as much, if not more, success. That, that's that's the only crazy thing about this. Okay. I see, what the, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. Mr. 50B is going to think he has the advantage here. Oh, he's a good little 50B. Oh, he's a good little 50B. The problem is, like, the Yag's going to keep them at bay for now. The Yag and the Sheridan, I think, are going to try and keep them at bay. Um, fortunately, I'm getting a lot of ricochets here. Oh, yes. 50B. HE. There we go. 900 damage into the 50B there. I'm trying to kind of tank some shots for my XM here. I don't want my XM to die just yet. But XM, you, ne you need to track that dude. Thanks. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. Believe in the RNG. Believe in the RNG. 
Oh, RNG low. Oh, nice. Fire. Let's go. I believed in the RNG and, and my belief paid off. So we got an 18th of the chief inside there. I'm just going to keep holding hull down on this ridge here. Good stuff, XM. Good stuff, my dude. Uh, let's put a quick Kirsch on to the 100. Nice. Now we can counter push. I think we played that well, ladies and gentlemen. I think we played that well. Except for the bot shot on the 50B. Wait, wait. Let me let me keep the 50B's attention here. Oh, I'm not trying to block your shots, buddy. I'm trying to keep you alive right now. All right. 700 Maxwell. You can kill him now. You can kill him now, XM. I believe. I have faith. I have faith. Good stuff. Good stuff. Don't die, XM. I'll take the shots. I'll take the shots. Yes, sir. There we go. Nice. We did okay, all things considered. And now we have a fancy new attachment to our vehicle. Look at this, guys. Look at this. We have a really fancy new attachment on our tank. Would you look at that? Oh, oh, oh. Meat shield's over. I think we did okay. Their, their team wasn't very good. That's what happens when your team doesn't take the good positioning. <laughs> that if all these things is just this, because it's a trashy kind of a trash. What? <laughs> 5k. I didn't even know I did 5k. What? And I threw a shot like a bot against the Fosh. Um, XM. GG there, XM. No, that wasn't a pleasant game for you there. I was trying to kind of tank some shots for the XM there. Um, uh, the Fosh. The Fosh. The Fosh is angry. This dude has 133,000 battles. Oh. His max damage is 6.3k. Wait, what's his most place tank? I recognize this untrust dude. I, I feel like I've... Okay, well, you know, he's played a lot of tier 8. I understand if maybe he doesn't he hasn't gotten like 7, 8,000 damage games out yet. Uh, understandable, understandable. Um, wow, we actually did okay. Buddy gave me the poop emoji, so I'll give him the uh, the bro fist. There you go, bro. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, he downvoted his whole team. Do you want to know how he downvoted his whole team? Because he got two retali He got a retaliatory uh, <laughs> emoji, and he's the only one that ever reacted to anyone on the on the, on the opposing team. Uh, anyways, wow. Okay, I don't think this tank. Okay, 3,900 average damage with 10 games in it. That's actually not too bad. I mean, it's just three. Ah, uh, love Okay. Now we're good. Thank you, Naughty, for the recommendation. We uh, ended it on a couple 5K games there. I don't feel like complete trash at the game. Yay, I actually had a pretty good time this stream for the most part. Um... Let's, uh, let's change camera angles again. We're still going to get uh, membership notifications, but if you look in the chat, you can see them. All that fun stuff. Uh, anyways, there we go. This will be the final farewell to everyone. Come here, Bobby. Come. Come say hi, Bobby. Come say hi. I just woke Bobby up so she can come say hi. There you go. Come say hi, Bobby. Say goodbye to the stream before it's too late. There we go. Hi. Hey there. How's it going? Pick up and say hi to the microphone now. Yeah. There you go. You get a little bit of Bobby at the very end before everything's over. So, good kitty and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you very much again, everyone, <clears throat> uh, for dropping by today's stream. Great having you as always, and I hope you will at least consider looking into the VZ. It, I think it has a lot of potential. Uh, you might not like it, and that's fine, but just be a little bit objective when trying it out. You might find it's a better tank than you thought. Uh, until next time... I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Take care and peace. Almost knocked him in the water. <laughs> Neko, hi. <laughs>